and you dial pound 250 and say the words free heart scan. Let's pick up the cell phone, dial pound 250, say the words free heart scan, and you'll be connected in seconds. And when you talk to them about that free heart scan, ask about cancer screening. My goodness, that's important. It's Life Imaging FLA. You'll have an option to receive a one-time auto-dial text message from iHeartMedia. Tax time means a cash bonus for many people. Hey, this is R.C. Hill from R.C. Hill Mitsubishi. I need to reduce my tax burden, so I'm going to overpay for your old car. Get up to $4,297 more than it's actually worth. Trade in and get a new car today, like a Mitsubishi Mirage 43 miles per gallon lifetime warranty. Most people can trade and lower their payment. Or let me double your tax refund up to $2,500. My goal this month is 100% credit approval. I'm R.C. Hill at R.C. Hill Mitsubishi, Central Florida's first choice for new Mitsubishis. Two locations, Deland and Nocala. Or visit me at rchill.com. Credit request. Embark on a journey through the most absurd moments of the human story with Ridiculous History, the podcast that explores the bizarre corners of human existence, like the evolution of the toilet, the story of Comic Sans, or the exploits of the notorious Aaron Burr. Aaron Burr is like, one day, my life is going to be part of a musical. However, though, he probably didn't necessarily at this point think that he was going to be the villain. Listen to Ridiculous History on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Are you drowning in IRS tax debt? I owe the IRS $37,000. Get ready for a toll-free hotline. Take advantage of new IRS tax forgiveness programs that may protect you from IRS collection agencies. They have the power to garnish your wages, put liens on your property, and levy your bank account. Civic Tax Relief can help protect you from the IRS. Civic Tax Relief basically represented me against the IRS, and by the time everything was completed, I didn't know the IRS anything. Find out about the Fresh Start program that is now available through Civic Tax Relief. Civic Tax Relief's special tax hotline can help you discover all the relief programs available for free. I would recommend anyone who has a tax problem to contact Civic Tax Relief. Just call 800-506-5803. 800-506-5803. Don't wait. Call now. 800-506-5803. 800-506-5803. Join Jim Colbert on the Jim Colbert Show for his Cigar of the Week segment every Friday afternoon at 345. You can pick up these featured cigars at all three Corona Cigar Company locations, Dr. Phillips, Heathrow, and downtown. Learn more at coronacigar.com. My wife and I both, we ended up mildly sick for a few months, and the nasal congestion was probably the worst part. I had like a post-nasal drip, just super congested all the time. We were taking everything we possibly could, but nothing really worked. Kyrie was miserable until a friend recommended Navage. Navage offers immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus, germs, and other airborne irritants. Don't live in misery this cold season. Use Navage so you can breathe easier sleep better and feel your best right away the biggest thing navage has done has completely cleaned out my nasal passages it, it was from the first use i was able to just clear out anything that was stopping me from breathing correctly navage helps me clear the way literally clear the way for me to operate better in the rest of my life experience the navage difference yourself navage is available at navage.com or at walmart walgreens cvs and rite aid navage nav A-G-E. Look to Orange Buick GMC for your next truck at orangebuickgmc.com. We are professional grade. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because your case matters. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Someone's going to get offended. It's just the way the world works. So to hopefully save everyone a little time and or energy, here's this. The opinions that you hear are those of the host and callers and not those of iHeartMedia, its management, or advertisers. The news junkie is on. The three best friends you never knew you had. Running through the most viral stories of the day. The news junkie Sean Wasson with Sabrina and c It is Wednesday, March 20th, 2024. Lots to get to today, from the Riley Stream text theory to the worst scam of all time and the little rascals who robbed a bank. Plus your calls, dispatches, emails, texts, and more. Sabrina is out. Hello, C-Lane. Hey. Oh, there you go. I got half of you. Josh is with us. Hey, Josh. Hey. And you are, too. What do you mean you got half of me? 
Go to thenewsjunkie.com and hit record on your first dispatch today. I didn't get the huh, I got the hey. Oh, yeah. It's just the back half of that well, one. Well, I know whose fault that is. Oh, I you don't know w- who that would be. <laughs> you can watch the show over at YouTube or twitch.tv slash the news junkie. Your message is rolling right into the studio in real time. How's everybody doing on a Wednesday? Good. Yeah. Hump day. Yeah. We're hanging in there. Uh, we How are, are muscling you? through. You know, um, I'm not feeling great. Um, <laughs> I I got sick. I'm guessing that somebody at Just OK got me sick. That is my, my guesstimation. Well, that's here. an easy blame. Yeah, it's a perfect week for all this to happen. But uh, I'm just going to fight through it and keep going. I apologize over the next couple of days if my voice doesn't sound at 100%. But here I am. Uh, and either I do this. And you complain this way, or I'm not here, and then you complain another way. So we'll we'll just have some fun, and we'll skate past it. Uh, Sabrina is out today, and uh, probably tomorrow. uh, It's kind of a question mark right now. She's got some family stuff going on. Uh, Any further than that, it's really not your business, or it's her business to tell. But she has some stuff that she absolutely positively had to uh, attend to both yesterday, today, and probably tomorrow. It's a kind of a touch-and-go thing. So, first of all, thank you, Josh, for hanging out with us today. Hey, you're uh, welcome. Now I have somebody to absolutely trample and fritz on the street in just a little bit here on the oh, show. No. That's what I'm excited for. That's what I'm ready for. How are you feeling, c That's the big question here. Huh? Uh, yeah, most of me is good. The, the top half. What's wrong with the bottom? Man, I don't know. know. He's in a wheelchair today. I haven't haven't, uh, eaten anything different, but it just there was a there was a few trips made to the to the bathroom yesterday that I was just like, what is going on? I took some some tums. You know what I thought? So uh, we talked about how on point Radio Michael Seven was in in uh, running the show backstage at Just Okay uh, to the point where he gave us these little like. Easter baskets, but but St. Patrick's Day style. Like mm-hmm. they were like these little like uh, green top hats with little liquor bottles and some liquid IV. And they were so damn thoughtful. Yes, and they the, really were. And the one thing that I was like, man, this is uh, above and beyond. He put um, uh, 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 tablets of Pepto Bismol in there. In this case guy. we had nausea, heartburn, indigestion, <laughs> upset, stomach, or diarrhea. Just so happened you checked a few off that list. Yeah, but I didn't have the tablets. I should have kept the stupid <laughs> tablets. I left them there. And I was like, you know what I could really use last uh, night was those stupid tablets. Fatal flaw in your plan right there. Oh, well. Uh, Josh, how about you? Top and bottom half doing okay? Oh, yeah, everything's, everything's functioning correctly. <laughs> good. Good good to hear. Uh, all right. Let's put our ears to the ground, our fingers on the pulse. Let's see what's happened in this great big wide world of ours and we start with a banger we're going to the courtroom friends and uh, a, a rapper a very famous rapper out there in the rap world from ysl which we all know means young, young slime, slime life, life. Uh, josh is on a delay he said it at the same time as me I but did. it's just yeah it's a tiny little delay there they have a big rico trial underway these guys they said were involved in so much crime in atlanta that when they arrested them, the crime dropped by like 50% in certain areas. It's like, damn, you know, these guys were busy over there. <laughs> so Young Thug is on the stand of this courtroom, and he's being asked all sorts of questions, as one might imagine. Have you guys seen this clip yet or no? No, 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 no. Oh. Josh, have you seen this? Be no. honest. No, okay. I don't think so. Back to Feek. Here he goes. You just heard that you explained that they, we qualified that, you qualified it as the detectives and police. And I asked you the authorities, the police, the prosecutors, I just made it broad, that they wanted, they forced Jeffrey Williams into it. All right, now, I don't know if you guys are noticing what's happening here yet, but it's it's very slight so far. Young Thug's eyes are closing, okay? (laughs) (laughs) He may be on the stand, but his eyeballs are like a garage door set on slow speed, just very slowly shutting over his face. Are we to assume that if this were me on the stand, my eyebrows would be raising up a bit? (laughs) I'd be trying to, yeah, yeah. Man, um, can I get a water or something? <laughs> I'm so high right now, y'all. Oh, okay. Oh. <laughs> he said, can I get a water? And then he says, I'm so high right now. Water, son. I'm so high right now, y'all. I'm about to go to sleep on y'all, man. I'm about to go to sleep. <laughs> he said, I'm so high. 
I'm about to go to sleep on y'all ass up here on the stand. At least he's you know, at least he's honest about things. I don't know if he's honest about the other things, but he said he's so high on the stand. Are you allowed to be stoned on the stand? There's a mo question if I've ever seen one. Like he's admittedly saying that he's high and that he's like fading on the stand, but maybe like if he says oh, I got a prescription for marijuana, you're maybe you're allowed to be stoned on the stand? I don't, I don't know think what the rules so. are. You're you're allowed to drink alcohol. And uh, I don't think they uh, take kindly to you showing up to the stand drunk. No, no, so that would be a. I think that would be no. grounds for uh, contempt of court, probably. Uh, yeah, you think so? <laughs> it's just, it seems like an absolute <laughs> mess. Oh, by the way, it's not Young Thug. It's uh, one of the state's witnesses in that trial, I guess. It says Adrian Bean is the actual guy's name. Uh, forgive me for mixing up the, the rappers in the Young Slime Life world. I will never do that again. But he said he was really thirsty, needed some water. I'm so high right now, y'all. I'm about to go to sleep on y'all right now. I am. They got him a water, and it looks like he was able to not go to sleep. So that's good news. All right, we're going to get to the update in this Riley Strain story. If you don't know that story, that's the one out of Nashville where this young guy in his 20s, he's 22 years old, he's been missing now for well over 10 days. And he was at a bar in downtown Nashville. He was drinking. Still they missing. I really thought out. that Peisenberg joke would bring him back. I just no, thought, that, yeah. No. So. No. Turns out that didn't save him. That didn't yeah. do anything for him. No. It's a shame. There's still much for Peisenberg for either. <laughs> Riley Strain is still out there somewhere. They're hoping he's still alive. Of course, the family is. And there was a text message that was the last one sent to him. And now there's a theory about that text message. I thought it was just like a you know gobbledygook kind of thing, but people think they're reading into it and they know what it means. What is it? We'll find that out as the show rolls on here in just a bit. But I got to check in with everybody, all right? Uh, audience, everybody, all of you out there, chat. All right. c and Josh, for God's sakes. Yes. The, the story is out today about the United States of America. Things aren't looking good. They said the World Happiness Report has been released. And my God, we have we're on a fall here. We, we are... We are really cratering, as you can see if you're on YouTube or Twitch. We are not as happy as we used to be in the United States of America. And our happiness index has dropped from, I don't know, 21st, 20th. It, was, but it used to be in the top 20. When would you say was the peak of our happiness? Uh, peak of our happiness, I, I don't know. But Ooh. on this chart, it was before 2021, right, obviously. Right before summer 2016. It's been a little rough since then. Yeah, times have uh, changed since then, for sure. <laughs> We've, we peaked around then, and now we are down in the trenches. They say a steady supply of studies has found that Americans am I feel looking, am dumb. I, am, I, am I getting this right? Isn't, isn't that when you got married, Josh? Don't worry about that. <laughs> <laughs> no, we haven't been married that long. It says it's issues ranging from loneliness to the economy and the country's political leadership. Folks, you can always disconnect from those things. You can disconnect from the economy. You could disconnect from political leadership. You could just live your life. You could just disconnect, cut from the grid, go out into the woods, enjoy your life like Ted Kaczynski did. All right? Just get out <laughs> until, there. Until he didn't don't, anymore. Don't enjoy it that much. Get yourself a little tiny shed. Write yourself a manifesto. Uh, and then you'll figure out the true meaning of life, I think. They said Americans under 30 are feeling worse about their lives. That's what's really dragging things down. You Zoomers, man. I love you, Zoomers. And I want to defend you from all the other folks. I want to defend you from the millennials and the Gen X people and godforsaken boomers. I do. I want to defend you. But you guys got to be a little rosier about your outlook on the world. You got to stop with the doom goblin stuff. I know they got you fired up about the, the world is on fire with climate change and nothing's ever going to be fixed and we're all going to be miserable. No. You got to disconnect from this. You have to enjoy your life. It's the only mission we have. It's our only goal, or at least it should be. They say today's young people report feeling less supported by friends and family. Well, we are here for you today. We will hear you out. Less free to make life choices, more stressed and less satisfied with their living conditions. People under 30 feel less confident in government. I don't blame them for that. And they said older people are now happier than younger people, the opposite of many regions around the country. Happiest country in the world? What do you guys think? Who's number one? Who's Iceland. number one? Iceland is number three Damn it. on the list. Sweden. Number three. Sweden's number four. You guys are right around it right now. It's one of those cold, cold, pale people countries. Which makes no sense whatsoever. I don't understand why that's yeah, the case. Yeah, you think it should be like... 
Uh, I mean, not Jamaica, but like a Bahamas thing, maybe. No, no, no. Oh. It's it's not Jamaica. It's is like the it? four whitest countries I could ever think of. Norway. In the top four. Uh, Norway is not in the top four. Uh, suck it, Norway. <laughs> Den- Denmark is at number two, and Finland oh. is at number one. Finland, Finland the, the also ran country. Nobody ever thinks about Finland. Nobody talks about Finland. That's why they're, they're so happy. Time. They get left alone. That could be it. <laughs> yeah. They're like when people talk about going to war with other countries, Finland never comes up. So they don't feel like a target. You know. But like, so, remember, remember the last time uh, you thought like you were overwhelmed by things and you go, you know what? It would be great if for a while everybody just left me the F alone. That's <laughs> Finland right now. Yeah, it's true. <laughs> there could be something to that. Let us know what you think is going on there. Why is America and most importantly, why are the Zoomers so sad? Where are the sads coming from? Why are they in their feelings about all of this? Give me your theories, because I want to know today, all right? Go over to thenewsjunkie.com, hit record on your first dispatch right now. All right, when we come back, we'll get wide open to everything, including this. Riley Strain, the missing guy we talked about yesterday. Is he alive? Is he dead? These are the two big questions. Um, you'll figure them out at the same time, by the way. Spoiler alert. But there was a text message he was sent. And now some theories are arising that I think are actually very interesting. And somebody is in custody. What's going on here? What is the new big information? That is coming up next on the News Junkie. You know you can always text us. Unless you're driving. At 77031. Standard data and message rates apply. Real Mobile is powered by Orange Buick GMC and OrangeBuickGMC.com. We are professional grade. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law, ClausmanLaw.com. Doing a quick checkup on some of the major roadways, slowdowns on I-4 westbound between Saxon Boulevard and U.S. 1792, your regular congestion eastbound on I-4 before U.S. 27 and approaching Sand Lake Road. Around the perimeter of I-4, no major problems on State Road 429. Traffic is up to speed on the Greenway. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Silk. Feel plenty good. Shop wherever you find groceries. Silk's delicious plant-based beverages help bring a daily dose of goodness to help you feel plenty good. They are rich in calcium and a good source of vitamins A and D to support the health of you and your family. Shop wherever you find groceries. $5,000. $5,000. That's the average amount of money people in the U.S. are now spending on gas in a year. Five grand. That's crazy. If you drive, you have to download Upside, the free app that gives you cash back every time you get gas. That's right. You can earn real cash back with Upside just by buying the gas you're already buying. You can literally start earning cash back today. I use Upside every time I fill up, and I've already made around two, $300. You're putting gas in your car anyway. Why not get real cash back? If you like free money, download Upside. I'm saving the cash I earn from using Upside to help pay for a vacation later this year. Download the free Upside app now to earn cash back every time you buy gas. Use promo code COOL to get an extra 25 cents per gallon on your first tank. You can cash out anytime right to your bank, PayPal, or a gift card for Amazon and other brands. Just download the free Upside app and use promo code COOL for a 25 cents per gallon bonus on your first tank. That's code COOL for a 25 cents per gallon bonus. You can live out your MasterChef dreams when you find a professional on Angie to tackle your dream kitchen remodel. Connect with skilled professionals to get all your home projects done well. Inside to outside, repairs to renovations. Get started on the Angie app or visit Angie.com today. You can do this when you Angie that. Sunnyside Air Conditioning. Uh, Yes, I need a new air conditioner. Do you... For a list of things we do, press 1. I just want to know if you install new air con... For a list of things we don't do, press 5. Why would I want a list of things you don't... To save us time explaining it to you. Well, I'd hate to waste your time. So if you'll just press 5, I'll give you a list of what we don't do. Right. Which is a lot. You know, this would never happen with Frank Gay. If you'd called Frank Gay, you'd probably be talking to a person by now. That would be nice. But we're more efficient. Amazing the time we save ourselves by making customers press buttons and talk to robots all day. I'm calling Frank Gay. 
When you need a new air conditioner, you need it done right. A helpful operator to make it easy. And your new AC installed fast. That's the Frank Gay way. Are you sure you don't want to hear the list of things we don't do? Our list is much longer than Frank Gay's list. That's the Frank Gay way. FrankGayServices.com. If you've ever considered a career in the skilled trades industry but you don't know where to start, come visit the job fair at Kalos Services in Claremont on Saturday, March 23rd from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. We're hiring for several positions across all trades, including commercial and residential HVAC, electrical, plumbing, and more. We're offering on-the-spot interviews and provide on-the-job training, so no prior experience is required. To find out more, visit KalosFlorida.com slash jobs or text or call 35 Five two two four three seven zero nine nine. Did you know that your largest investment asset might not be your retirement account or home? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. Most people don't realize that their life insurance policy is actually an asset they can sell. But for almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. We've even created a free policy value calculator at abacuspays.com so you can find out in seconds what we might pay for your policy. There are no fees and no obligations, just information. Knowing the value of your life insurance policy is as important as knowing the value of your home, your equity portfolio, or your finances in total. Discover the valuable information you need to understand the current market value for your life insurance and then get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Visit abacuspays.com to learn more and use our free policy value calculator today. Life is too short to let allergy and sinus issues hold you back. At Aspire Allergy and Sinus, we understand the impact these challenges can have on your life. Imagine a life free from constant sneezing, itchy eyes, and sinus headaches. Our expert team provides comprehensive allergy testing and personalized treatment plans, ensuring your specific needs are addressed. Simple relief, better life. At Aspire Allergy and Sinus, visit AspireAllergy.com to schedule an appointment. AspireAllergy.com and tackle your allergies head on. The Lombardi may have been lifted, but that doesn't mean there's no football to talk about. It's the offseason, and there's no better way to stay up to date with the latest from our league than with the Around the NFL podcast for news and fresh content all offseason long. From the start of free agency, where we'll break down familiar faces headed to new places, to the next generation of superstars walking across that stage at the NFL draft, listen to the Around the NFL podcast on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Heed the call. Presented by T-Mobile for Business. Now is the time for 5G business. Beat the buzzer and get closeout pricing on all remaining 2023 models at Sutherland Nissan Orlando. Occupying the space between high society and prison tattoos. This is the news junk. but I'm going to keep doing it moving forward. During the break, I went out of the studio and Courtney was there and she goes, you know, I, I heard the tease before the break about this Riley Strain guy and she goes, what's going on? I said, well, you have to wait until after the break, won't you? <laughs> so just Got her. Like, wow. <laughs> <clears throat> so you think you get exclusive information because we're, we're together? Nah, nah. It doesn't work like that. I'm sorry. You're going to have to wait. You may hear what happened if, if you have enough time before you go uh, on your run or whatever. So uh, here, here we go. Riley Strain. If you don't know the story, let me catch you up Let's do some dispatches first. Uh, uh... <laughs> <laughs> Drag it out. <laughs> uh, Riley Strain was this young guy. He is, uh, and I say was, he, he may well still be alive, 22 years old. And he goes to Nashville, uh, apparently with a group of friends. He goes to several bars, I would guess, and then ends up at this country bar. Who's, whose bar was it again? I keep forgetting. I don't want to say Toby Keith, but that ain't uh, it. Luke Bryan, I believe. Luke Bryan, yeah. Yeah, it's his bar. And and when he goes to that bar, he orders one drink, and they boot him out because they think he's intoxicated. And so they send him on his way. People were mad about that bar doing that and, like, not following up with him. Uh, his friends were still there trying to pay his tab and square that away, and people were mad about his friends for not following him and taking care of him. There's videos of him, various videos of him wandering around Nashville, and one, like, he falls face first into the ground, 
in one, he's walking by a cop, and the cop says, hey, and he says, hey, and then people are like, why didn't the cop save him? Because it's, I mean, that's what I, I kind of hate that they're, that they're doing that to the cop, because I'm sure that, that once they found footage of him in the body cam, they're probably going, and the cop is probably going, man, if only I had just, you know, figured out that he was drunk or tried uh-huh. to tried to talk to him. But I mean, Nashville is full of uh, Nashville is full of drunks, right? All yeah, the time, and there were no good clues for that cop. The the guy who didn't even fall. If the cop saw him fall on the there ground, there we go. Yeah, that would have been uh, a reason to stop and say, "Hey, let, let me uh, let me let me see if you're okay here." If, it, if the cop saw him like falling into the river, like all these things make more sense. But just seeing a guy on the day that he died doesn't mean much of anything. You can't just go every person who's on video that encountered him or walked past and didn't save his life is somehow involved in his death if he is indeed dead. And by the way, I think the cops, I think they're thinking he's in the river. I think that's their guesstimation on this because now it's you know, creeping up on two weeks that the guy's been missing and they don't have any real good theories, at least not that they're sharing with anybody. But they did talk about how... This girl that he was texting with got a very late text message from him. And it's believed that it might be his last text message since he disappeared or before he disappeared. And here's what he he had sent. I mentioned this before, but the last text message from Riley Strain to this woman was good L-O-P-S. Good lops. Yeah, girl, you got some good lops. She said, how you doing? And he said, good lops, all right? And any guess as to what the, the theories are on what lops meant? Uh, L-O-P-S. Maybe L-O-L, but his thumb slipped. Okay, that's what I thought. I thought good, and then so, like something went bad with, with being drunk or uh, some kind of autocorrect fail. Is this a girlfriend or was just a girl? They're not being specific about that. They're saying it's a girl that he knew that texted him, and this woman said, hey, how you doing? And he answered. This is the last text before he went missing. He said, good, and then space, L-O-P-S. And somebody saying lips. Florida Scratcher on YouTube is saying lips. Good lips wouldn't make sense as a response to how you doing. What's up, good lips? (laughs) Unless he called her lips, if that was her nickname, then he might be onto something there. No, that the theory is... That L-O-P-S means something else. See, then you got any guesses before I let you know here? Lot of P surrounding me. I don't know. No, that's not it. No, 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 no. Uh, people are saying if you put lops in a text message, it means low on power, sorry. And oh. it's supposed to be hmm. like an excuse to a person that you're texting with on why you're not giving them a more elaborate or involved response to the text message. And they, they believe that, oh, he, he was saying good, and then L-O-P-S real quick, you know, low on power, sorry, and then maybe his phone died after that. His uh, family is saying, no, uh, this is not the truth. His family is saying, uh, what we've been told is the phone did not die due to battery capacity. It wasn't even at 5%, which some kids run around on, and it frustrates us as parents, they said. Uh, so... They said it, that they're they're trying to claim that this is not the case. I'm not sure if that is a I'm thing. I've never heard of it. died due to water damage. Uh, yeah, that could be it. That absolutely could be it. You know, I, I was like uh, two weeks ago old when I realized. Did I tell this story when I realized that my iPhone wasn't waterproof? I don't know if I told this or not on the air. <laughs> Did you guys know? Are you taking that, a I, bath with it? <laughs> oh, <laughs> the truth. The, Were you watching YouTube videos in the in the shower? Yes, <laughs> I was. I was watching you. I have a I have a thing. Well, now I have a thing where I can put my phone in it and it keeps it like from the water. But I just put it on the soap tray. I've and, done that. You know, it was getting gargled up by the water here and there as it was splashing off my body. But I thought I was like, it's fine. iPhones are waterproof. They're not waterproof. They're water <laughs> they're, resistant. Which which iPhone do you have? I don't know. You know, this one is a regular old iPhone here. Come on, you can. Mm-hmm. F- figure it special. out I will, I will go to settings i'll tell you is are the new ones waterproof and this one isn't is that what it is about iphone 16 oh iphone 11 iphone 11 is what i have and i can assure you that son of a bitch is not waterproof because it started going and the 
YouTube app stopped and I started freaking out. I almost broke the damn thing. It says uh, iPhone 11 is water resistant. It has a rating of IP68, which means it's fully protected from dust and can handle being underwater for up to 30 minutes at a depth of six meters. What? If your phone gets dropped in a puddle or a shallow pool, shallow pool or gets wet from the rain, it will be just fine. It wasn't for a while You've there. You've had it in the shower too many times is what happened. Maybe. It was like 10 seconds of exposure in the shower. And I said, geez, these things are as nice as I thought they were. Anyhow, so good lops. There's some theories about that. Here's Lost the is failing. what other people are saying. Good. Oh, that's Lost. not bad. Yeah. Good. And then no punctuation or anything. But lost because he was lost. He was walking in the wrong direction from the hotel that he was supposed to be going to. His family wants more out of the police. Here's what they said. We're very grateful for everyone that's done everything so far. We ask that you continue. We ask that you work and help with us to become more organized because we don't want individuals out there alone without us knowing so that we want to make sure everybody's They're careful. not giving up. Um, safety is the number one priority. We, we appreciate more than you'll ever know the outpouring that we've received from the community, from the press, and everyone else involved. Nah, it's been a while, though. Our goal is still to bring Riley home. We feel that is still a very pliable goal. All right, they feel it's still a pliable goal. To bring him home, it's, clip, it's, it's, it's creeping up on two weeks that it's been here, that the 22-year-old has been missing, but we haven't found out anything to be, lead us to believe that he's dead either, right? He's just got nothing from this guy. Only the fact that he's not around, or the, that he's, he's not, you know, showed up anywhere is what leads people to believe he's dead. Then the family and others are mad that it looks like if you call the Riley Strain tips line, the uh, all the tips are going into the cold case unit voicemail now. Oh, my. That's and, uh uh huh yeah that, mm, that's not awkward. a thing. that's not a good thing. So they said if you call the the tips like forward through to this cold case unit and they go straight to voicemail, they're not happy with that. Then they had a tip that a resident said she saw Riley Strain's shirt that he was wearing on a homeless person. I don't know that a hobo would like rough this dude up, throw him in the river, and steal his shirt though. It seems kind of weird. It seems like that might just be some sort of um, you know coincidence. They said I saw a homeless man wearing Strain's shirt after he went missing. She says she hasn't been able to uh, contact the correct authorities. I've not heard from the police. I have a call. I've emailed local news stations. I found the Crime Stoppers on. Lady, get out of here. She's on Ashley Banfield's show on News Nation doing an interview saying, I saw a hobo wearing the missing man's shirt. And she says, I haven't had time to call the cops. But well, you had time to wait, line wait, up an wait, interview wait, she on hasn't television? had time to call the cops? She, or, says, or she says she hasn't been able to have she, the correct authorities. She hasn't been able to call the cops. You can call the police. You call the, the, the line. If you can get on a national cable news show and line up an interview that you're doing, I guarantee you I could get a tip through to whomever I needed to right now in 30 minutes. I would be blown away. If you can uh, no, they, they would say uh, they would see your name and probably make it more like 45. <laughs> I show up blackballed like some of the dispatchers do on our side. Yeah. It's like, not him. Not this guy. The they other have, piece they have a rhyme, too. They're like, if it's from Sean Watson, time to toss him. <laughs> <laughs> they also said that uh, with the Riley Strain case, and obviously we wish the family all the best in this. We hope they get some good news. Doesn't look great. I'm just going to be real with you, as I always am. But uh, we, we hope that they get that good news. They said that somebody was in custody. And this person was somebody who had a history of stealing um, credit cards and uh, different things, money and other things from tourists in Nashville. It's like a, a well-known thief in the Nashville area. And they said that that person is currently in custody no direct connection at all between that and the Riley Strain case just yet, but it's floating around in the same circles as the story. What do you think? Is there any chance that this guy is still alive right now? Let us know. Give us your theories. Go to the newsjunkie.com and send us a dispatch right now. Uh, we got somebody when I said that the uh, new study, the World Happiness Report, suggests America is miserable. And that in particular, the Gen Z kids are miserable. And I, I want to know why. Why is this the case? Big Bad Beard said he's an unhappy guy, I think. So let's hear. Oh, man. Yeah, we're not happy here in America. I wonder why. You can't go to the grocery store and 
buy a pack of steaks or hamburger without spending thirty dollars. Pack of steaks. Freaking milk's outrageous. Eggs are outrageous. Never Food's a crazy of off the charts to buy it. Can't eat anything because it's full of freaking all kinds of antibiotics and pumped full of crap that's just <laughs> trying to kill us. Cancer's running rapid or rampant. Dang it. Both. But anyway, <laughs> we're unhappy. We're not happy about all this. Very fast. Gas cancer. is crazy expensive. I'm unhappy, darn it. And I'm a happy person. Ooh. Woo woo pop pop. All right. Yeah. I know this is going to sound unhinged. <laughs> and I know this is going to sound out of touch. Oh, boy. You, you finally, I have to, did you, I have did to you get gas the other day or something? <laughs> no, 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 no. They have these things called gas stations. All right. I want to lay down a couple of things very quickly. Number one, quite obviously, one thing that could make you upset right now is that things are more expensive. And inflation is real. It is. And it's painful for a lot of people. It is. People often, though, just like Big Bad Beard did, give the worst examples of how inflation is affecting them. All right. Gasoline right now is back over like four bucks or something. Last I checked, it's a go close to it. It's expensive. That'll hurt you. You got a 20 gallon tank. It's 80 bucks to fill it. You got to drive far to work every day. That is squeezing you in your family. That is inflation a little bit, but more so the gas markets are just screwy and rigged against you and they go up and then they go down when we're bleeding all the way. Right. But when I hear people talk about inflation and they're like, Oh, by God, Sean, the cost of eggs and milk is just, it's through the roof. It's just skyrocketing. Buddy, I go to the grocery store sometimes too, okay? And when I see, what, what, what's a dozen eggs now? What is it, three, four dollars? The idea that you can get a factory somewhere, load it up with chickens, and they lay 12 of these eggs, and they process them, and they put them in a little thing for you, and they ship them wherever, and they bring them into the, the grocery store, and they store them in this thing, and then they sell them, and you can get like, Four or five meals easy out of a whole carton of eggs for like three bucks. I mean, that's not a good example, I don't think, of why you're bleeding right now from inflation. The idea that milk is like $3 for a gallon of milk. How much milk are you drinking that this is bleeding you dry? It's really just things across the board. Or how about this? Think maybe, Here's a big one. You think maybe, you know, he did say he orders a pack of steaks. <laughs> just, do you think just maybe he has a family to feed? Maybe. maybe maybe he's going through milk because there's a child involved. What are they bovines? How much milk are these kids drinking? Kids it's, need calcium. It, milk is you know you're not supposed to drink milk anyways. I don't think I don't think humans oh. are supposed to drink milk. Cow milk. I mean, seems weird that we do that. Still, don't get me wrong. I love it. Some fair life milk. I'll drink the hell out of it. But I don't know that as humans we were destined to drink milk. Well, obviously, we, we were, were destined. Uh, we're, we're, that's true. were we made to do um, it? I don't know, but we were are destined. Are we best off? Are we best off <laughs> drinking milk? I don't uh, know. Although, when I'm having some kind of glorious little snack that could use a milk, I think the total opposite, all right? Now, I know you're going to say, I was made for touch. this. Yeah, you're, you're this, you're that. Like R not on YouTube says, the average American spending 11000 more a year since Biden got into office. It's a big deal, especially if you have a family. Durr. Um, <laughs> Durr. Okay, first things first, what I was saying was the examples that people tend to give, where they say eggs, when they say milk, they mention those two things. Those two things are the worst examples that you can give of this. It's like saying, boy, apples sure are really expensive after inflation. What you have to do is just talk about how it's everything across the board. It's categorically something that affects people. And use better examples. I don't know, when you just pick out a couple of things, don't make those two the things, right? Uh, the step of he says, Sean, everything has gone up. In place. I, oh, what did I? I told you beforehand. I told you you guys were going to get triggered and react like this. That's why I said, obviously, inflation is a problem, right? Remember me saying that? Obviously, inflation is a problem. Obviously, it's true across the board. I said, obviously, you have issues like high gas prices. I know all these things are major issues. But what I'm saying is, in particular, I don't think eggs or milk are super expensive right now. I don't think those in particular are super duper expensive. You can fight with me if you want. Go over to the newsjunkie.com, send a dispatch right now. Here is uh, Daytona Squid talking about Game of Magnets. All right, junkies, I might have scored big today. We'll uh -oh. see. But I am meeting a fellow junkhead for a magnet swap. I'm tossing out junkie. three of my prize possession magnets. Fritz on the street, 8 bit. 
a Pac-Man and a Blue Stripe, whatever their one that one's called, mm -hmm. for one of the coveted Just OK A Golds. Oh, those are good. I hope it's legit. Joe, if you're listening, I hope you're real. I've been waiting <laughs> and waiting. Everybody else has BS me. So I'm going to give up three to get the one. So maybe It'd be hilarious uh, if that's my lawn guy who has now found a dispatcher as another way to <laughs> get involved on the show. Good luck in that gold magnet, sir. I appreciate that. Uh, Greg says milk used to be like $1.99 a gallon in 2007, right? I don't know. I get the fair life stuff, which is more expensive, and it lasts forever in a day. It's super good. I would go for it uh, if you could. He says a dozen eggs are like $5 right now. I don't remember the exact price, but I do go to the grocery store. You guys think I'm just like locked up in a gilded cage over here or something. I, I go to the grocery store. And in fact, I go to the dystopian Walmart now about once a week. You're and insane. Wander through that son of a bitch. And it's a wild ride. It is a wild ride over there. Uh, let's go over to I'm a PC. This is Sean starting to age. Uh, Oh, you're tiny. Into Rust territory from his ivory tower, not being able to associate with the younger audience. You know what? I'm just flat out right here, all right? You need to understand this. I'm flat out right. You just can't accept that there's a nuanced position on this. Yes, inflation sucks. Yes, you can blame whoever you want for inflation sucking. Yes, things are more expensive. Yes, I have to pay a lot more money for all these things. But yes... It's still a pretty good deal to get a gallon of milk for what you get it for. And it's still a pretty good deal to get eggs for what you get it for, right? All right. A dozen large eggs on Instacart is four forty five. Mm -hmm. And the Instacart prices, those are those are already That's jacked inflated. Up. Yeah. So, you know. Well, it's like I would guess three bucks, under three bucks or something for a dozen eggs. Oh, man, you can make a lot out of that. Statista says that the eggs peaked in 2022 and actually came down a little bit last year. Yeah, they have, and everybody has conspiracy theories about all of this stuff. I'm just saying, overall, it's all big egg pushing the. Pushing it probably the, is. We don't. Well, the other choice would be to get a chicken, or is and, it big chicken? And then the chickens are just obnoxious, man. We we grew up. We were misled by the cartoons to believe that roosters and chickens, well, roosters in particular, only do the cockadoodle do right in the morning, right when the sun comes up. Turns out they do it all day long. Oh. Wow. Just keep going. It or is, they speak like southern lawyers. That I like. You know, foghorn leghorn. All, ain't bad. all, all right. When we come back, we got to get to the worst scam of all time. Plus, I'm sure you have something to say about my obviously right eggs and milk take. Hit me with that. Go to the newsjunkie.com. Send your dispatch. Just hit right him with now. eggs and milk. Just, uh... No. <laughs> I'm going to start getting pelted in public as a result of this. I feel it happening now. All right. To this, well, this deal, this scam, which is the worst deal I've ever heard of in my life. Wait till you hear what a man convinced his friend to do and how much money he got for it. That's coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio is Real Music Weekends. This weekend on Real Radio 104.1. This weather report is brought to you by Mills Air. Hey there, Central Florida. I'm Fox 35. Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your forecast on this Wednesday. And despite the chilly start temperature-wise, we're expecting a really big warm-up to continue over the course of this afternoon with the help of some sunshine. We'll expect a mostly sunny sky. Highs in the mid-70s. High of 75 degrees in Orlando. Tomorrow, we'll see some increasing clouds that will lead to a couple of spotty shower chances late Thursday with a better chance of showers expected to arrive for our Friday. From the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Jessica Dobson. This report is sponsored by Jackson Hewitt. It matters who does your taxes. Why are people saying Hugh yeah to Jackson Hewitt? When you switch to Jackson Hewitt, they will beat what you paid last year on tax prep. Even if you filed online. Proof of prior year payment required when filing. New clients only at participating locations through April 7th. Terms at JacksonHewitt.com. Nothing adds crunch to a salad quite like a fresh bell pepper. If the bell peppers you're buying don't sound like this, then they're not fresh from Florida. Florida bell peppers are grown right here in the Sunshine State by our hardworking local farmers. That means they're fresher, crisper, and have a way better... Bell peppers are in season now. So look for the Fresh from Florida logo or ask for it by name where you shop. Fresh from Florida, there's sunshine in every... It's spring. Time to gather your friends and family and fire up the grill with some Kingsford charcoal. 
because everything tastes better cooked on the grill. Whether it's a casual get-together or a special occasion, Kingsford Original will give your food that authentic, wood-fired barbecue flavor everyone craves. Mm, wow, this is so good. Because it's not spring until you've thrown some burgers on the grill with Kingsford Original Charcoal, America's grilling expert. Kingsford.com. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. Hey, let's get out of here. With Audible, we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save Earth from disaster. Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real-life media mogul succession drama. Or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com. Seminole Hard Rock Tampa is excited to bring you live craps, roulette, and sports betting. All under one roof, hotter than the Florida sun. Feel the luck of the dice, watch the roulette wheel spin, and scream for your touchdown as the big screen comes alive. Dine like a rock star, sip cocktails that shimmer, then dive into the heart of Las Vegas right here in Tampa Bay. Live craps, roulette, sports betting is here. Get in on the action now, only at Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Tampa, located off of I-4 near I-75. Gambling problem? Call 1-888-ADMINUTE. Get ready for a major, major. iHeartRadio Music Awards Woo! announcement. Be here tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Eastern, 6 Pacific. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. Are you a victim of the Tom Shirt Trap and think there's no way out? I'm Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, the original timeshare cancellation expert. And I'm here to tell you that there is a way out. All you need to do is give my office a call. I will send you a timeshare exit information kit absolutely free explaining how the timeshare industry works and your options for cancellation. Call Wesley now for your free info kit. 800-522-5700. 800-522-5700. If you owe the IRS and can't pay, now is the time to call J. David Tax Law. After a two-year hiatus, the IRS has resumed their aggressive collections letters. Don't wait. Call J. David Tax Law or visit jdavidtaxlaw.com. Car crash? Call Klausman. Klausmanlaw.com. That's K-L-A-U-S-M-A-N. Real Radio is on X at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. <laughs> Hear it here first, then everyone else will catch up in a week or two or four. You're
Appreciate that you are listening to the show today. And always, and telling your friends about the News Junkie Radio Show. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to push the gas a little bit harder here just to see how many of you get fired up by this absolute stupidity and my absolutely correct take. And what I said oh, earlier was... we added bread to the mix? <laughs> I, I don't need to. Well, I could. I could. And, I, and I, I'll, I'll revisit that in a second. Hold on. Let me put that to the side for a moment here. All right. Here's, here's what I said, just for those of you who know, and people got very triggered by this. I said, inflation is absolutely obviously by the numbers, real and a huge problem. And the reasons for inflation are because there was way too much money injected in the economy during the pandemic and uh, various other things like uh, the raising of wages and, and all sorts of places. And it causes, it's obviously a cause and effect thing. It causes prices to go up. And that sucks, friends. It especially sucks when it comes to room and board rent, et cetera, et cetera. But when people talk about inflation, they generally go, the eggs, oh, the eggs, and the milk, oh, they're so expensive. And I said, those two items, even though people often go, they're up 100%. 100% from what? Right? Like, you can still, and this comes down to the root of the issue, you can still get a dozen eggs at Aldi for like a buck fifty. A buck fifty. And I want you to imagine, like, you had your neighbor, and your neighbor had a whole bunch of chickens over there, and your neighbor said, I'll tell you what, I'll take these chickens, I'll feed these chickens, I'll raise these chickens, I'll keep them nice and clean, and then I'll go around and collect the eggs, and when I get a dozen eggs, I'll put them in a nice little container for you, and I'll give you a little story about the birds involved, and I'll drop them on your doorstep for a dollar fifty. You go, I feel like I'm not paying my neighbor enough. That seems like a really good deal. But for some reason, we're like, hey, you know, I'm used to paying this. I'm saying the deals are still good. And the problems with some of you, okay, this is just true. The problems with some of you is you are suckers for marketing. So you believe, embrace yourself here. You believe that that chicken that they took on like a long walk and read it a poem or something, and that chicken that they claimed was like free range or that, you know, He was a Tuscaloosa razorback hen that was fed only the best of grains and was put to sleep every night with a nice little bedtime story. You think that egg tastes different than the tortured egg. You won't taste the difference. There's no, you're not going to taste the difference. And a sad chicken's egg and a happy chicken's egg. Sorry. I don't, I'm seeing some, some some nodding heads. The eggs look different even. You're not, you're not going to taste the difference. You think I take an old egg in the cage you know, like the, the chicken that doesn't get to go anywhere. And I take that, I put it in a pan, and I crack it. And right next to it, I take a fancy pants chicken that was, like, massaged on the daily by some immigrant workers and fed only the best of best of grains and given, like, a, a coach, a chicken coach, to give it its best life. And then finally, when it was on, you know, its dying bed, they said, we're going to pull the plug, and then we're going to take one egg out of you. That chicken doesn't taste any better. There's no, there are, I don't Why believe Why would it. you get the egg from the dying chicken? I, you know what I'm saying? He's got the best life possible. You didn't do anything. Do you know how eggs work? Hold on. Your theory <laughs> is that work. one chicken over its entire expensive lifetime produces one egg. All right, forget that on part. On its deathbed. Forget that part. It's a, the, the most pampered chicken. Then the eggs would be super expensive. Yeah. This, this chicken's driving around in a chicken Ferrari pulling up to his million dollar chicken house. Okay. Everything is just coming up chicken, and his life is great. You think you could taste the difference in the eggs where you would go, Cluck, that no. chicken? There's no <laughs> way. I don't know if there's ever been a study done. I haven't looked at the, the research on this. People but, say people say you can. Like, I mean, if you if you crack uh, uh, one of the regular grocery store eggs into a bowl, and then in the bowl next to it, you crack one of the happy eggs. In fact, I think that is one of the brand names. It is, yeah. yeah. Uh, <laughs> it's the one my wife likes to buy. They are harder to crack. By the way, I don't know why that is, but it's a thing. Healthier. Um, and if, if yeah, the, if, there's you can see the difference between the two eggs. So they're they are physically different. People say they can taste the difference. I don't know that I can taste the difference. Mostly because I'm probably mixing them with the regular eggs, just so there is more because they're tinier. But uh, are they physically different eggs because they're different kinds of chickens or simply because of the lifestyle they provide the chickens? The diet, I think. Yeah, yeah, it's the lifestyle because the I'm yolk comes you, out orange. When I grew up, we got the cheapest eggs you could ever get. Sometimes they didn't even have a top on the container. It was a convertible egg c- carton. They didn't have enough money to put the top on the container. And my mom would bring these Are eggs buying back. in bulk. That's the only time I've seen, uh, seen them without a top is when you buy like 
28 or so at a time. Like, what a big ass thing like of like eggs. Costco. I'm talking about Winn Dixie eggs, my friend. Mm. All right. These are eggs that have been basking in room temperature Winn Dixie uh, with lights flickering over the top of them as the place barely stays in business. And those eggs, some of the best eggs I had in my life. All right. I've been to fancy restaurants and had eggs and had the cheapest eggs in the world. Same eggs, man. Same damn eggs. All right, I know a lot of you are really angry right now, so channel that. I don't know. It sounds like you're the one that's really angry right now. <laughs> Projecting. I want to. I want to taste test like cheapest egg we could find, middle of the road egg, and super expensive right. egg. Uh, how is it that you want a, the egg prepared? Are we talking? You want a scrambled egg, a sunny side up? Do you want a? Oh. Do you want a deviled egg to Ooh. see if no, no, deviled, no, 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 happier no. deviled? No, 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 no. Whoa, whoa, whoa! You can't do any of that. It has to be just a fried egg because the moment you introduce anything else, scrambled egg introduce what you're scrambling it with. You know what I mean? So, like, are you scrambling it with, like, fancy milk or whatever? Like, I, no milk. All right, what if no milk? No no milk and just a scrambled egg? Yeah. That's a sin. I wouldn't do that to begin with. <laughs> okay, I wouldn't, fine. You know, I couldn't bring myself right, to do that. Fried egg smackdown. Fried <laughs> eggs, line up on the pan, all right? Line up on the pan. You wouldn't Sunny be able to tell everything. Oh, no, I got text messages incoming from Courtney. Uh-oh. She's, she said, make me a fried egg from 7-Eleven versus the eggs I get. 100% everything in them. I could, uh, I could taste the difference, she said. It's key that it has a running yolk. She said, oh, every time I can taste the difference. I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I don't think she can do that. And I'll have that challenge with her. I'll challenge her to that this weekend. I'll make those eggs, and I think we no, just you guys got an exciting marketing. weekend ahead. Is this going to be part of your <laughs> little your video? Ass. Wait, no, maybe it will be, actually. Maybe it will be. And that'll only be one part of our exciting weekend. That'll be the egg in the exciting weekend. And the rest of it will be exciting, too. Just so you know. What do you think about this? Let us know. I need some folks who understand, who are smart enough to, to avoid the marketing and be on my side here. I think, I think the hard-boiled by... egg would be a, a really accurate way of figuring that out. I think it's fair. I think that's a fair thing. A hard-boiled egg because you're just dropping them in boiling water for the same exact amount of time, right? A little bit of salt. Yeah, a little bit of salt. You scoop them out. You, you hit them open, and you get what you get out of that. I think that's a fair way to, to test it, too. Maybe the fairest, but I would try all the different ways. And I would guess if you kept doing it over and over and over again, you are being sold a bill of false goods. Now, that said... <sighs> I still think you should buy the the fancy eggs because I think the chicken should have a nice life. All right, I just think I'm paying for wait, the wait, chicken wait. to are have you, a nice are life. You, are you implying that if you think not enough people buy the fancy eggs, the happy chicken farms will close because the because yeah. of bad business? Yes, <laughs> I don't want that to happen. I want people to buy the expensive eggs, but I want them like me to buy it knowing that it's a, a gimmick but that they're providing for the chickens to be able to live a little nicer, run around and stuff and enjoy life. And, you know, then you just get that last egg out of the chicken, right? When it's about to die. And it's the last dying egg right it's out of it. Not how a chickens work. Yeah, I, I'm pretty sure I got this nailed in the chicken uh, we're, hospital. <laughs> we're going to go over to you and your dispatches in just a moment. We'll see what you have on your mind. Go over to the news to record your dispatch. Now, plus the uh, basketball players, who did the chicken uh, hospital? <laughs> <laughs> and the chicken just got bad news from the dog. <laughs> oh, I'm leaving now. I'm gone. No, you're not. I'm gone. <laughs> the two basketball players who traded jerseys, and some people had very dirty minds about this uh -huh. and said it was offensive. <laughs> they are now explaining themselves. Oh, gosh. And there was there's only conference. one explanation. There's <laughs> only <know>. one explanation. <laughs> and it's the funniest possible one. Yes. It's the one I like. Uh, we'll see what you think about all of this. That's coming up next on the News Junkie. All the cool kids are doing it, and you want to be like the cool kids, don't you? Well, don't you? The Talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone, and speak. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center, shop the best quality jewelry and lowest price. GoldsmithJewelry.com. There's a bit of slowdowns to watch out for this afternoon. Southbound on Florida's Turnpike between Hancock Road and Oakland Exchange. Westbound on I-4 between Lake Mary Boulevard and approaching State Road 434. Heading eastbound on I-4, you could expect your regular delays before US-27 and approaching the Sand Lake Road. 
If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline and Stino Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Indeed.com. Need to hire? You need Indeed. Their all-in-one platform helps you attract, interview, and hire candidates all from one place. And Indeed's interview tool lets you schedule and conduct virtual interviews right from their website. Visit Indeed.com slash credit. Spring is in the air, but so are airborne allergens like tree pollen, grass, mold, and ragweed. If spring allergies keep you trapped inside, then you need Navage Nasal Care to keep you breathing clearly and enjoying all the beauties of spring. Navage helps clear nasal passages that are often clogged because of seasonal allergies. Navage gently flushes a pure, refreshing saline solution through your nasal passages to clear out congestion, sucking out that springtime pollen and other irritants trapped in your nose. Navaj springs into action quickly, helping you breathe more clearly in just 30 seconds. And you don't need a never-ending cycle of decongestants that can leave you feeling drowsy. Navaj is the fast and easy drug-free allergy solution that helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel healthier. Get Navaj today so you can get outdoors and enjoy your favorite springtime activities. Navaj is available online at navaj.com or in stores at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, and Target. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E. Breathe easy. Homeowners, are you ready to love your home again? Install Brick Paver can build eye-catching walkways, patios, or driveways. They can build custom fire pits for relaxing with your family. They even build outdoor kitchens and build retaining walls. Everything you need to create a perfect outdoor paradise. Install Brick Paver can do it with spectacular results. Go to InstallBrickPaver.com to see our amazing home makeovers. You can also get a free no-obligation quote for your outdoor project. Call for free information now. 407-337-4040. Call 407 407- 337 4040. Install Brick Paver is a family owned and operated company with over 20 years experience and fantastic Google reviews. We are Orlando's finest family owned paving experts. Fire pits, pool decks, paver driveways, patios, and hardscaping. Install Brick Paver does it all. Call for your free estimate now. Get in early before our spring schedule gets booked. Call 407 337 4040. That's 407 337 4040. Hi, my name is Tim Forehand. I'm a deputy sheriff, and my job keeping me in shape is important. I've tried other products to get my weight down, but nothing has worked like Android 400. In just three months, I've dropped 51 pounds, down from 230 to 179. Plus, the weight's come off in the stomach area. I've gone from a snug 36 inch waist to a 32 inch waist which i was in high school i highly recommend the android 400 to all my friends guys are you frustrated because no matter how hard you try it seems impossible to lose stubborn belly fat then discover why thousands of men each month rely on andro 400 lose belly fat gain energy and confidence and feel great about yourself Andro 400, the safe, effective, and inexpensive way to boost your testosterone. Go to andro400.com or call 888-400-0435. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. Orlando's top-rated comedy club and restaurant is celebrating, becoming the Funny Bone. Formerly the Improv Comedy Club, the Funny Bone guarantees the same great talent and live comedy with a new name at Point Orlando. The Funny Bone welcomes Jay Farrow, March 22nd and 23rd. White folks, I love y'all. I used to live in a dangerous neighborhood. And when I saw y'all walking around, I felt safe. Followed by Che Dorina, March 29th through the 30th. Calendar and showtimes at orlando.funnybone.com. 
Orlando Science Center has spring break down to a science. Your child can play to learn in Kids Town. Now at Orlando Science Center, it's four floors of fun and discovery waiting for you. Explore the technology of transportation with going places. Build your own dream creation in the makerspace. Or get face-to-face with the T-Rex in the dinosaur exhibit. Little ones can splash, climb, and tinker their way to learning in Kids Town. And more. Admission includes access to all exhibits, movies, and live shows. Get tickets and info at osc.org. A1Garage.com. A1 from day one. Portions of the following program were pre recorded. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because you matter. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. of magnets taking over the world one terrible person at it. In just a moment where you won't believe what a friend had another quote-unquote friend do, plus the Dick Black, I'll say it that way, uh, situation with the jersey swap, and one of the players who swapped those jerseys is now answering questions about what motivated them to do it, all that in a moment. But first, an appeal to authority for you, c and you, Josh, Oh, just to finalize this argument that we've been in the midst of here. Um, are you both familiar with J. Kenji Lopez Alt? Yes. Yep. All right. You know that he's like, he's a guy who knows his food, right? He used to work for an outlet called Serious Eats, and now he's got a YouTube channel. If you're into cooking, I would suggest it. It's kind of fun. It's done in a very different style, and you learn a lot about stuff. He's still doing, um, like, the helmet cam? Yeah, he does that, and it's it's very, like, uh, you feel like you're you're close, and you feel like you're learning a lot of things from a dude who's tried a lot of stuff out. And he wrote a story about this for Serious Eats a long time ago. And he said, I wanted to see if my admittedly deceptive and rather unscientific initial results would hold up in a more rigorous setting. My goal was to determine exactly which factors can affect the flavor of eggs. Does organic or cage-free make a difference? What about omega-3s or access to the pasture? And they had a lineup of plain old factory farmed eggs. Those are the ones you get at Aldi for like $1.50 still. Eggs with the omega-3s. Organic cage-free uh, eggs with omega-3. Cage-free eggs with, you know, a different amount. Organic eggs, no other specifications, and free-roaming pasture-raised chicken eggs, right? And so they went and tested all these out. They even used ones that were from somebody's backyard with, like, the chickens in the backyard. And they said right off the bat, half of the tasters remarked that there was almost no difference at all in the flavor of the eggs. So right away, 50% of people were like, I don't know. The eggs taste like eggs to me. I'm trying them out, and they all just taste like eggs. The remaining tasters noted that there were indeed some slight differences, they thought. The pastured eggs and the eggs with the omega-3s, they thought, had a richer flavor. But it's unclear whether or not they would actually bore this out over some additional tests. They said nobody detected any off or fishy aromas in any of the batches. So they said there was not a lot here to the difference between the eggs, okay? Uh, and I think that that's just what you would come out with if you did like a test of a thousand people or so. Like, what? what how does all this work? But now Courtney and I are going to have to have some sort of fight over this. And you'll come along with it, maybe. Go to the newsjunkie.com, send us a dispatch now. Let's get into the thing about the jersey. If you missed this, two players in the NBA, which is the National B Ball League, they switched jerseys as players are known to do after a, a game. This is not too uncommon, I don't think. And. If they're buds, they'll go out there and you'll have like Josh will take off his Fowler jersey. Yeah. And C Lane will take off his Lane jersey. Mm-hmm. And they'll stand next to each other. Yeah. Like, Fowler Lane. You We're know, on there you go. Fowler Lane. This was Grady Dick and Anthony Black. And yeah. so Anthony Black took off his black jersey and Grady Dick took off his Dick jersey. And there they were with the, you know, the black Dick jerseys together. And they just put it out there for everybody to see to celebrate them both having a great game. 
And then the press started to think that there was something more to this. And uh, there was an interview with Dick, and they were asking about this very topic. So let's just see how it went. Let's see what was going on there. Great. we got to ask you about the, um, the jersey swap the other day. Um, <laughs> why did you choose to, to swap jerseys with Anthony Black? That's my guy. Yeah. No, actually, I've, been, I've been playing with him since, or against him and with him, you know, around middle school days. Okay. So that's been my guy for a long time. Mm. You know, guys jersey swap with their boys. Mm-hmm. That's, that's my, my friend. Do you have other jersey swaps planned in the future? Or? If I play with him growing up and they're my, they're my guys, then I'll jersey swap with him. Uh-huh. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This guy can't keep a grin off his face. as yeah. answering any of his questions. It's like, He's but, just tickled to death. He's the most in demand because his last name is Dick. So you could get all kinds of different things. Anything you I put don't in know, front of him, there funny. used to be a Cox in the NBA. So perhaps, <laughs> perhaps Anthony Black still has some opportunity. <laughs> this is not the end of the road for him. No. <laughs> all right. Could be. We'll keep an eye out on those two. I, think, just I, th- I think there was also uh, a gay in the NBA. Not really. Not, not okay. A person with the name <laughs> gay. In they the let NBA. them in the NBA? No, yes, of course they do, Sean, you know. Um, no, I think, because uh, I know there have been a few uh, in the NFL, but uh, I think there was one, I don't know there was one in the NBA. That, that could be another, um, you know, that, that could yeah. be a contender for either of them for a jersey I like swap. It. I, I think it's fun when they get together and they show you what their names can do. And then there's a lot of really interesting names in the NBA so God knows there are in the NFL. Or if Grady Dick and Jalen Hurts. I mean, there's a lot of. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. There's a lot. I, they, they should do that once again. I think they're going to just ban Grady Dick from jersey swaps. <laughs> he's he's, 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 he's going like, to show up to every away game and like, can I get a copy of the roster, please? <laughs> <laughs> That's no fair. It's not his fault. This is the name he was given growing up. And you know what I love about this? He probably struggled growing up with the last name Dick. And, and the dick struggle is not an easy one to go through. And so as he goes from the, like, the start of the dick struggle to the end of it, and the end is when he's just you know, squirting out with all this excitement of being able to be a part of a funny thing and not something embarrassing. He probably didn't struggle that much. He was probably, I mean, if, if he's a, playing for the Toronto Raptors now, he probably was like star basketball player, you know? It, it was, been. Probably no dick struggle. It could have been, I don't know. I, we'll have to ask him. We'll have to maybe inquire about more. Meanwhile, there's an insurance scam that is the worst one I've ever heard in my life. You'll agree, I think, but let me tell you the details so we can see if you end up on the same page before we hear your dispatches. They said these men were involved in an insurance scam to try to get three, $1.3 million, which is not too bad, $1.3 million. The men allegedly involved, uh, identified as Zhang and Liao, they have been charged with fraud. They got a payout from the insurance company. It was only $7,200, which is going to be seized, so they won't even get the $7,200. They wanted $1.3 million. Didn't get it. Two Taiwanese men are facing criminal charges after one allegedly urged the other to purposely freeze his legs to the point of requiring amputations in what authorities characterize as a botched attempt to collect an insurance payout. The suspects are in their 20s, and they said there was an investigation into this. They found out that one of them immersed his feet ooh, in a bucket of dry ice for 10 hours Ouch. so that they would be required, his both his feet and his legs, to be amputated. And then they tried to sue this company. He said that uh, he got this from riding a motorcycle with his friend. The motorcycle ride is what gave him this. And they said he went to soak his feet, and then he had to cut his feet off. Prosecutors found out they were lying. And so not only did he lose his legs and not get $1.3 million, he didn't even get the $7,200 that he was looking for. Why is my phone talking to me? What was that? (laughs) That's very upset about this guy's feet. My phone just started screaming at me, Uh, but uh, that was a failure. What did it say? I don't know. I can find out. Hang on. Give me a second here. This just started screaming all of a sudden. Uh, Cordy says, I could tell with just my eyes. That's not the point. That's not the point. You're not allowed to look at it. It has to be a blind taste test. Because you can't be fooled. Oh, by we're the still look. talking about a 
Yeah, yeah. we're not talking about frozen feet now. Uh, uh, all right. Uh, <laughs> and Courtney says, of the people in this test that I brought up, sorry, those people are not as discerning as me, she says. <laughs> <laughs> she, uh, you saw the panels for people on Impractical Jokers. This was Serious Eats, though. And let's seriously go over to you and your dispatches. We'll start with this one. Here is Flip talking about the great egg debates. Okay, real quick on eggs. So the difference between the um, local uh, free-range, no chemical eggs versus the, uh, we'll call it big egg big old uh, egg. eggs, is the fact that the big egg companies use chemicals. They use all kinds of stuff to feed the, mm -hmm. the chickens so that they produce more and all that sort of thing. And what that does, it also in turn makes those eggs from big egg uh, easier to crack and easier to peel if they're hard boiled. Um, if you ever try to hard boil an egg yeah. from like your neighbor who has chickens running around, which is kind of where we get our eggs from, it is a bitch it's like to a shell. peel those like suckers a thick when one? you hard boil them. Yeah. And well, they, it's a shell on all of them, but like it's a thicker shell that's it's harder to break Sometimes, through. yeah. I, I've also uh, heard that the uh, length of time you wait between acquiring your egg and boiling it also might have um, some uh, influence on how hard or easy it is to crack or uh, to peel. Excuse me. Yeah. I've seen a lot of tricks and like things that they'll say, like as seen on TV. A lot of people say cold water plunge, you know, will loosen it up in there. Yeah. This, there's no perfect way around this. You know what I do? I take the hard boiled egg and I put it on like, you know, those uh, paper cutters where you like, you know, it's got the big long thing. <laughs> You know, yes. and you slice, you cut the the paper, the whole length of paper. Mm -hmm. uh, I'd use one of those, and then I just like flop the shell off. If I get a couple of bites of shell, it's fine. It's not bad. Ooh. People are too scared of the shells, and there's probably something good in there for you, I would think. Uh, let's try this. Here's man kicking, talking about hospice chicken. Um, leave the uh, hospice chickens alone. They, They're not uh, hospice chicken. They don't produce eggs anymore. You know, when a chicken gets ready to die, they they stop producing eggs. So that's why they invented fried chicken, Sean. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Only young chickens. I do like the idea of a hospice chicken, though. <laughs> just, uh, like, a hospice chicken just, like, on oh, its last legs. Jimmy Carter chicken. <laughs> you need Jimmy Carter chicken, and you still eat that son of a bitch? And we are terrible to chickens honestly we are we really do a lot of damage to the to the species um but it's fair enough you know, i think i'm having good. chicken for dinner so you're right <laughs> are you it's really working out for them today i'm looking at uh, a complete list of current nba players by the way yeah what kind of names you got on there? there's a lot of browns in there yeah. uh matt hurt that could be right. you know could be a good uh combination with uh -huh. uh, old anthony let's uh, see there's a lot of Johnsons. That's kind of easy. See, that's what I imagine. I would imagine that there'd be a lot of Johnsons out there. Mm, yeah. Um, um, I bet yeah. you would. Uh, there's somebody with the last name Smooth, so you can oh, do Oh, all right. <laughs> See? <laughs> I, you know what I would like to do? We don't just have to do two Ooh, names. In Phoenix, <laughs> Nasir Little. Uh, <laughs> and or it Kevin Love, you you could stretch this out into three, four, five jerseys. You yeah. Know? Well, <laughs> one of so the the only other uh, NBA player with the last name Black. Now mm -hmm. the first name doesn't appear on the jersey, or else this would be just just Chef's Kiss combination. Um, but the other Black in the NBA is named Leaky Black. Oh, okay. <laughs> and when you say the other black in the NBA, you're talking about people with the last name. Just Correct. to be clear. Just and like with the gay thing. Completely out there. <laughs> it's just dicey territory we're in. Okay, we'll see what you think with your dispatches in a moment. Um, and then the little rascals are back in the news. Why? Because they decided to rob a bank. We'll hear about these kids aged 11, 12, and 16. And what they did, it's coming up next on the News Chunky. Real Radio. <laughs> Monsters in the morning. A big piece of earwax randomly doesn't come out in a quarterly in a year or something no, like that. Where that, you're just like, whoa. That's just gross, man. Yeah, I'm playing around, man. <laughs> Check the tech. The Monsters in the morning. Real Radio 104.1. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. 
There's a couple accidents to watch out for this afternoon. State Road 44 westbound at Colony Park Road. The right lane is blocked. There's an object in the roadway blocking the left lane on State Road 520 eastbound approaching the beach line. And authorities are still working on that accident on New York Avenue eastbound near I-4. Travel with caution in those areas. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477 from the Traffic Center. I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Marco's Pizza. Try Marco's new cheesy Melty Pizzoli for free when you purchase one large or extra large menu price pizza. One free fully loaded handheld Pizzoli with your Marco's Pizza. Order this slam dunk deal before the clock runs out. Limited time only. Limit to per order. See store or marcos.com for details. Hey, let's get out of here. With Audible, we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save Earth from disaster. Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real-life media mogul succession drama. Or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com. Slam Dunk Savings going on now at Deland Nissan. Drive away for less with huge savings on over 100 Nissan models in stock. Score big with pre-owned vehicles too with new trade-ins arriving daily. It's not just a Nissan. It's a Deland Nissan Nissan. Elevate your outdoor living space this year using stone. Tanzite has developed stone decking crafted without any plastic composite materials to redefine durability. Visit Tanzite.com to see how stone decking doesn't scratch stays cooler, isn't slippery, and has all the durability you would expect from stone, which is why it's guaranteed for life. At Tanzite.com, you will see how we developed stone to easily transform any ordinary wood deck. You can even make your deck waterproof for a dry space below. Versatile and adaptable. Tanzite is perfect for decks, stairs, over concrete, or ground applications. Visit Tanzite.com to start planning your project with a free 3D design and construction plan tailored to your space. Order a sample today to witness the incredible beauty and durability firsthand at Tanzite.com. That's T-A-N-Z-I-T-E.com. Regulated activities performed by a licensed affiliate. I had no idea I could sell my life insurance policy. Norman and Nancy Duggan. For Coventry Direct. We were about to let Norman's policy lapse because premiums have become expensive. Our kids are doing well on their own, so we just don't need it anymore. Then Nancy called Coventry. They were so helpful, answering all of our questions. If you're over 65 and have $100,000 or more of life insurance, you may qualify. After this past year, we're celebrating life. We've booked some long overdue travel and we're able to pay for our grandkids' college. Coventry Direct has helped thousands live the life they want to live, pay for unplanned medical expenses, or supplement retirement income. When it comes to selling your life insurance, Coventry has you covered. Call 1-800-607-9400 or visit CoventryDirect.com to learn more about how you can get cash by selling your life insurance. Call 800-607-9400. It's spring. Time to gather your friends and family and fire up the grill with some Kingsford charcoal. Because everything tastes better cooked on the grill. Whether it's a casual get-together or a special occasion, Kingsford Original will give your food that authentic, wood-fired barbecue flavor everyone craves. Mm, wow, so good. Because it's not spring until you've thrown some burgers on the grill with Kingsford Original Charcoal, America's grilling expert. Kingsford.com. In St. Augustine, Pontevedra, it might feel like there's not enough time to take everything in. Because once you're done exploring 42 miles of pristine coast, marveling at historical architecture, and enjoying world-class food, it'll be time to check out and head home. But that's okay. You can always stay just one more day. Visit floridashistoriccoast.com to learn more. It's about time. Tax Talk with Straight Talk. You give and you give. This tax season you get with Straight Talk Wireless. You get a reliable 5G network and unlimited data and a Samsung Galaxy A14 included when you buy an extended silver unlimited plan. So you can give your janky phone to your kid. Switch to Straight Talk. Find us at Walmart and straighttalk.com. For network management practices, visit straighttalk.com. Device offer ends 41424. 
Taxes and fees apply. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 original stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like 24-7 comedy. Men don't settle then. We surrender. Women, we never express the emotions we're actually feeling, right? I'm fine means I'm about to stab you in the neck. Clips from today's top comedians and the greatest of all time. Donut hole. If you want a donut, have a donut. Why are you eating the hole? When you need a laugh, just open the free iHeartRadio app and search comedy. You can actually change the station. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. Need more animals, more gators, and more fun? Y'all need Gatorland. Watching the world burn with some friends since 2007. This Question. And I think this is one that has changed so drastically over time. And changed so drastically in such a short period of time that it's crazy to think about. But let's go on a little journey here and a thought experiment, okay? Uh, here's what I was thinking about because I saw a story or two about this. Do you think that obesity right now, and I guess I would say specifically in the United States, is a rich people problem or a poor people problem when it comes to obesity in the United States of America? And I'll, I'll explain if that doesn't make sense to you because I'm getting quizzical looks uh, in the monitors. Um, here's what I mean by that. If you looked at um, obesity way back in the day, you would say, and when I say way back in the day, I mean even like 100 years I ago. I look at it every day, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> Same Z's, all right? You know, my doctor uh, was brutal with me during oh. that blood test. He's like, you're still in the obesity category. And I'm like, oh, I'm, I'm trying. And then actually when my doctor said that, I was like, well, how far do I have to get down? You're going to have to lose 25, 30 more pounds. I'm like, are you kidding me, man? Jesus Christ. But back in the day, even like 100 years ago, obesity was undeniably a rich people problem. Why? Because you had to have enough money to get enough food and do so little that you got fat to begin with. So obesity wouldn't be a problem that like some impoverished little dude could ever get because the the peasant wasn't able to eat enough to get fat to begin. He was just trying to live and survive for God's sake. But now we find ourselves in a completely different atmosphere where they're saying that poor people and the food that they have access to, it actually makes them more likely to obe be obese when they're poor. And Hey, guess what? Not for nothing. But if you're rich and you do get fat, you can hop on the Ozempic train and you can spend money on personal trainers and you can do X, Y, and Z. And you got time to do all the things to lose the weight. And there's like a thought process that over these years, now obesity has actually become a poor person's problem. I'm not going to lie to you. I got at least, at least two homeless people within a mile of my house who are very, very large homeless people. They don't have a home, but somehow oh, I think I know one of them. There's one. There's Hang one on. that I feel really at the, bad for. At the bus stop. Yes. Yeah. You're the lady. Are you talking about the lady? Yeah. 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 Poor, poor lady. Uh, and everybody who goes the, up the to the overlap with homelessness and hoarding always fascinates me. It is strange, isn't it? Because you know? that lady has a. And if you, uh, so some of you are hearing this and go, "Oh, I must live by Sean," because I know exactly who you're talking about. <laughs> the lady has a shopping cart. Yeah. And it is. Like filled to the brim and overflowing with bags of her stuff, mm -hmm. and I don't know if that would if that stemmed from a moment where, as she became homeless, I always wonder what the moment is that you like, they, they, everybody did all these people oh. were they raised like this or was there a moment? What are you the say? story uh, the story about this lady is uh, what you talked to her. One. I didn't talk to her, but there's a lot of hubbub on next door gotcha. about this person okay. that you're talking about. I think unless I'm crossing wires, Courtney will tell me if I'm talking about the wrong person. But what what I heard, all right, grain of salt is, was that that poor lady was the victim of an acid attack at some point in time. Oh, wow. And but if you uh, look at her face, people think she's sunburned from being homeless. But some people who have talked to her said, no, 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 no. Like, you know, it's like something that happened. She was attacked by somebody 
Um, I don't know if she was homeless before that. I, I don't know what was happening, but yeah, there's there's some stories about her, but she's very large for being a homeless person. And if you look at like, even go back to what we think of as famine, if you think about some um, northeastern African countries where there's not as much access to food, right? Um, even places like North Korea, you wouldn't just drive down a street in any neighborhood or village and see a bunch of fat people because they were struggling just to stay alive, much less to, you know gain weight. Uh, BDMX Khan with a dissent saying, Obesity is no longer about access to excess. It's more often a lack of discipline, with both, uh, which both the rich and poor have. It's a fair point, but here's where I take issue. That's why I brought up the Ozempic stuff. Or the fact that if you look at somebody who's very poor, obviously I'm speaking of somebody employed in this situation that I'm going to lay out here, that person who works like 50-hour work weeks, they also, if they have a job that doesn't require a lot of manual work, they don't have time necessarily to go to the gym or to put in the effort to lose that weight and stay in shape. It's harder for them to free up the time. Whereas people on the higher end of life, they aren't necessarily in that same predicament, right? You get like access to all the things you have access to the experts, the personal trainers, the best food, the chefs cooking you stuff that might be better for you. All of these things that uh, uh, make it like a bigger problem for poor people. Maybe now, than rich people ran on YouTube says if diabetes were real, that could explain that. But Watson doesn't believe in diabetes. So I, I don't believe in diabetes. What, what does that take? What it's, is it's, that? It's, uh, diabetes, diabetes. I yeah. believe in it fully. Yes. And it's a huge problem. It's a major, major issue. I feel for those who have it, but I don't think it's as simple as if you're fat, you're automatically lazy. I think that might be the case a lot of times. But I don't think it's just that down the line. I think if you're super poor and you're like got a bunch of kids and you're working your ass off, that's one thing for you. You you could be a single woman and tell me how it only takes so much effort to go to the gym and eat right and keep yourself in shape. And then I want to hear how you attach that to the single mom of three. Right. And you're like, she's putting on some weight. And you want to be aggressive with her. I'm going, you know, how, how it would be to keep up with three damn kids by yourself and juggle a job and do it. You don't have time to do any of that. You don't have time to cook things, right? That would be a problem for somebody who's got more issues because they're actually on the poorer side of things. And it it makes it more tough for them, I think. What do you think? Let us know. Go to thenewsjunkie.com and send us a dispatch right now. You guys want to hear about the little rascals? Do you know I? The little oh, rascals? Tay. <laughs> Which is what I said at the top of the show, but Josh caught half of it off. <laughs> Perfect time to use it again. Well done and executed. A trio of juveniles dubbed the Little Rascals by authorities were in custody on Tuesday. Why? Well, it was after allegedly robbing a bank in Houston, Texas last week. According to FBI Houston, the three suspects aged 11 12 and 16, the suspects, allegedly robbed a Wells Fargo bank. They said the robbery took place about 3 p.m. And they just walk in there and rob the place. It doesn't say whether they had a gun or anything. They approached the teller and demanded money, it says. Anecdotally, it's the youngest robbery crew I've seen based on all the pictures that we put out. Imagine 11 years old, you're involved in a bank robbery? Damn. Don't try to be a hero. Just put the cash in the bag. <laughs> That's the par The parents have dropped the ball. I'm sorry. If your 11 year old is, is oceans 11 his way through life to, you have done something wrong as a parent, right? Although uh. oceans 11 junior would be an adorable movie. Uh, like, you know how I often skip child productions. Uh, that uh -huh. one I might, I might have to watch. I would watch this. I would be into that. 11, 12, and 16, they rob a Houston Wells Fargo bank, and the three are now in custody. Problem is, what do you do with some of them? The 11-year-old, what do you do with that kid? You're not going to throw them in real dude jail. That's just not going to happen. Uh, okay, a couple of dispatches. Let's see what you got going on. Here is Green Panda. This just says Ratto. I don't know what that means, All right. but it means we're right out in Spanish. It does. That's true. Hey, Sean. Hey. As far as the uh, being poor and fat, it, it definitely correlates because it, it takes money to eat healthy. The the poor people, um, we get stuck eating mac and cheese, mm -hmm. ramen noodles, crap food, dollar dollar menu stuff. 
I don't know. Makes pretty sense to me. Anyway, have a great day. Wiggle wheel, pop up. You know, Green Panda, I haven't made my mind up on this, but just to push back on it a little bit. That's one of those common things. I love when there's something that everybody just says and nobody pushes back. And we're like, yep, isn't that a shame? Is it really? I'm going to try to find the best way to phrase this. Is it really hard to find healthy options for a, a, a low budget? Because are green beans, are is corn, rice, chicken, are all these things like so out of the pricing equation for a family that's living on the, the margins? Or is it just the fact that people who are in that position either don't have the time to be making all this stuff themselves, or maybe there's just like a knowledge gap. They're not aware of these things. It's just one of the things that everybody says, like, oh, it's really expensive to eat healthy. I don't know, like potatoes, vegetables, uh, all sorts of different things I've seen aren't the most expensive things ever. Some of is it, it is, is people live in neighborhoods that don't have access to that stuff, like sometimes, actual grocery stores. Sometimes that could be the case, but how often is that? What what major city doesn't have a grocery store? Hmm. Milwaukee. I know what you're talking about. I know it's like the food desert side of yeah, things. And, and if you don't have a car, you can't get there. Yes, and that is that is prohibitive for a lot Tell of people. Tell that to Kevin McAllister. <laughs> that's, that's, that's a hard thing to get over. But I also think we go, hey, um, it's expensive, really expensive to eat healthy. I think it's just very easy to not eat healthy. I think it's the easiest thing in the world to just be like, I want McDonald's again. And now that's kind of getting priced Whoa, out. Did actually. you have some sort of microphone in my car this morning? <laughs> did you have McDonald's this morning? <laughs> well, McDonald's oh, no. again. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Whenever I wake up with a couple extra drinks in my system and a hangover, that's it the worst is. part. I haven't drank the last two days. So, oh really? <laughs> Me either. Me either. I, I finally Nerds. got some sleep last night. Do you know what? I, I I finally said, Sean, just stop talking out of your ass and do the research. And I was like, Why am I not able to sleep? For God's sake, I'm taking uh, what's it called? God, I keep forgetting the name of the stuff. Um, the herb, the, no, no, the <laughs> the herbal stuff to go to sleep. Um, oh, um, um, melatonin. Uh, yeah. Melatonin. I said, I'm taking melatonin. Is that herbal? I, I, I don't know. It's what your body <laughs> sure. releases for you to go to yeah, go to sleep. Yeah, yeah. So melatonin, I said, I'm taking this. And when I when I don't drink, it's hard for me to sleep. I'm just going to be honest with you. And I've tried to take weekdays and not drink, save for Thursday secret shows. Uh, so that's four days a week-ish that I'm not drinking and going to bed harder. So I've been taking melatonin. And when I take the melatonin, I'm like, it's, it's, it's still not working. What's going on here? So I did the research last night. First of all, it says you should take between one and five grams of melatonin. I've been taking 20. <laughs> and In one pill? Two pills, 10 apiece. Oh, buddy. 20, 20 uh, grams of this, or maybe micrograms it could be, because grams seems too much. Um, and then it says the more you take, the more likely you're to have nightmares, number one. And number two, insomnia and so I said, Jesus, I thought I was doing the right thing. Here I am once again doing the wrong. And last night, twice as good I slept. It was much, much better. A better experience all the way around. Here is My Brother Can Suck It. And it says, cutting to the chase. We'll see. What up, news junkies? Hey. Thomas here. Okay, I'm just going to cut to the chase. My birthday's Friday. Uh, Josh, can you pick me for Fritz on the street? Okay, thanks, bye. Wow. All right. Mm, compelling argument. And it's very it's, concise. It's out there. For our friend Fritz is with us for Fritz on the Street in just a bit. Fritz in a bit, as we say on the program. Uh, that will be happening before too long. Uh, they're saying I've never been in the ghetto. I've been in the ghetto, my friend. Yeah, I've been uh, in, in many a ghettos mm. in my time. Yeah, this and guy I, just visits him like a tourist. Now. <laughs> no, I don't. It's not. I lived. <laughs> Courtney, you want to go see a ghetto this weekend? <laughs> Let's go we look at the poor. Roll the windows up, honey. Let's go to the ghetto and visit the deal store. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's true. We did that. But, <laughs> and I said, drive, drive. Uh, well, I lived I lived off Dixie Highway in West Palm for a while in a place that you know, was a ghetto adjacent, if not ghetto. That damn place had three grocery stores near it. So most ghettos... Okay, I don't know. This might be fighting territory for a lot of oh people. Oh, boy. But I would don't, suggest... Don't, don't that, start a fact 
the factual statement with most ghettos. Like you're the expert, <laughs> like you're the ghetto expert, buddy. As a man who's toured through We've many We've seen ghetto, what your house looks like. So just uh, stop. Aren't, all, aren't, aren't most, I'll go back to most, aren't most ghettos urban? Aren't they in cities? Aren't they within the, the confines of a city? Do you have suburban ghettos or do you have uh, even like, you know, more remote ghettos? Ooh, I, suburban I, ghetto sounds like a great title for my new clothing line. Yeah, I, I, would, like also, I would also say like meth adult uh, communities in Arkansas. That would be the ghetto. Uh, rural uh, ghettos. Yeah, you're talking about like a holler, like a, yeah. where everybody. <laughs> yeah, the crick- I don't know. In my head, I always picture ghettos in a more urbanized area, but maybe that's wrong. Maybe I'm just wrong in picturing it that way. Let's see. Let's go to the dictionary and see how they define this, all right? Uh, This says ghetto, all right? Ghetto. A poor urban area occupied primarily by a minority group or groups. Uh, The Jewish quarter in a city, historically, they say, resembling or characteristic of a ghetto or its inhabitants, yada, 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 yada. Um, yeah, so I, I don't know. Maybe there's different ways to phrase this, but that's how I've always looked at it. Now, let us know what you think. Go over to the newsjunkie.com. I've hit enough wasp nests, I think. Uh, send us a dispatch. At yeah, the this news one's junkie. much worse com. than the eggs. <laughs> I think so. Now combine don't, the two. Don't get me started on ghetto eggs. Uh, so, oh, those are the eggs I like. Those are the good ones. But I won't buy them because I want the chickens to live a happy life. It's a oh. tangled web we weave. When we return, the next episode with the question mark. Yeah. Somebody. With somebody. We're going to find out who, what, when, where, and why. We don't like it's making all... these kind of announcements ahead of time. You know this. <laughs> True. It's all coming up next on the News Junkie. Coming up tonight on Real Radio at 7, it's a corporate time with Tom and Dan. Brought to you by Gringos Locos and Modern Plumbing Industries. At 9 p.m., it's Real Laughs with comedians James, Miguel, Ken, and Mike. And Real Music starts tonight at 10 on Real Radio 104.1. This weather report is brought to you by Mills Air. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your forecast for your Wednesday. And today, despite the chilly temperatures this morning, we will continue to warm up in a big way. Afternoon highs will climb well into the mid-70s with a high of 75 degrees in Orlando. For Thursday, we expect a mostly dry day, but shower chances do increase late in the evening and into Friday especially. We have a weather impact day for Friday for heavy rain possible with an 80% chance. For the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Jessica Dobson. This report is sponsored by Fresh from Florida. Meal planning is work, so let Fresh from Florida help. Learn what's in season, browse hundreds of recipes, and get tips from Chef Justin by visiting freshfromflorida.com. Eat healthier with Fresh from Florida. There's sunshine in every bite. $5,000. That's the average amount of money people in the U.S. are now spending on gas in a year. Five grand. That's crazy. If you drive, you have to download Upside, the free app that gives you cash back every time you get gas. That's right. You can earn real cash back with Upside just by buying the gas you're already buying. You can literally start earning cash back today. I use Upside every time I fill up, and I've already made around two, three hundred dollars $300. You're putting gas in your car anyway. Why not get real cash back? If you like free money, download Upside. I'm saving the cash I earn from using Upside to help pay for a vacation later this year. Download the free Upside app now to earn cash back every time you buy gas. Use promo code COOL to get an extra 25 cents per gallon on your first tank. You can cash out anytime right to your bank, PayPal, or a gift card for Amazon and other brands. Just download the free Upside app and use promo code COOL for a 25 cents per gallon bonus on your first tank. That's code COOL for a 25 cents per gallon bonus. Embark on a journey through the most absurd moments of the human story with Ridiculous History, the podcast that explores the bizarre corners of human existence, like the evolution of the toilet, the story of Comic Sans, or the exploits of the notorious Aaron Burr. Aaron Burr is like, one day, my life is going to be part of a musical. However, though, he probably didn't necessarily at this point think that he was going to be the villain. Listen to Ridiculous History on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Here at Massey, we've seen the damage termites can cause. That's why we've been protecting homes from termite damage for almost 100 years. Our termite protection program featuring always active Centricon system doesn't just protect your home from termites. It gives you peace of mind. That's why our termite protection guarantee covers your home and everything in it. Schedule your free inspection today at MasseyServices.com. Massey Services. Expect more and get it. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. 
so am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. Last year, more clients hired Morgan & Morgan than ever before. We now have more offices, more staff, and more lawyers than any other injury firm in the world. Protecting America, fighting for you. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. Are you paying too much for term life insurance? There's a tremendous price war in term life. Industry rates have dropped dramatically in the past few years. For example, a man aged 45, non-smoker, can get a million dollars of coverage for $75 per month, level rate for 10 years. Or a man aged 50, non-smoker, can obtain $500,000 of coverage for a monthly premium of $110, level rate for 20 years. That's right, guaranteed level rate for 20 years. If you're a smoker, we have great rates available for you as well. At Term Busters, we specialize in policies of $500,000 and above. If you're looking for new or replacement term life insurance, call for a free quote today, 800-200-2250. That's 800-200-2250. Don't wait. Call 800-200-2250. 800-200-2250. Sample rate quotes based on preferred non-smoker rate class. Exam required to qualify. You can live out your MasterChef dreams. When you find a professional on Angie to tackle your dream kitchen remodel. Connect with skilled professionals to get all your home projects done well. Inside to outside. Repairs to renovations. Get started on the Angie app or visit Angie.com today. You can do this when you Angie that. Real Radio is on Facebook at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Riding the daily roller coaster of viral news from the front row. of entertainment and beyond we'll get you all teed up for fritz on the street friends oh, yeah. yeah that's right it's going down in just a moment so make sure you stick around to play along with us you can watch us live by the way go to the news slash live for the feed and you'll see all the ways you can interact with the show right there in the sidebar at the news slash live uh sealand has some papers in front of him so but, i'm guessing but is it me I think. We don't know. Unless Josh is just freewheeling. I mean, just, you know, he could be doing one of them green next episodes. All right, yeah. let's see what it is. Here we go. Let's do the next episode. Because there's a lot on TV. And you can't possibly keep up with all of it. Even though you should, because what else are you going to talk about? I'm about to go to sleep on y'all ass. Nothing. <laughs> Weather's nice. It's time for the next episode. With me, it was me. Yeah, I bet you guys didn't think it was me, did you? I didn't the think it was you. whole time. All right. Well, the next episode is brought to you by That Mortgage Guy Don, thatmortgageguydon.com. It was nice to see That Mortgage Guy Don at uh, Just OK 8. Uh, I think he had a fun time. He seemed mm-hmm. to be enjoying himself. I said hi yeah. to him a bunch of times, and uh, it was good to, good to have him out there. If you are looking to get out of your current house, or if you're looking to get out of your renting situation where you're just throwing money away, uh, well, then that mortgage guy, Don, is the one to talk to. He is a uh, wholesale mortgage purchaser, which means he goes to the Costco of mortgages, buys mm-hmm. a whole bunch of them up, 
and passes the savings on to you. And he can uh, answer all kinds of questions that uh, that we don't know about. Uh, stuff like, what's an escrow? What's a he lock? Is there a he unlock? I don't I know. know. Ask I Don. know, but I don't want to step on Don's toes. Like, I know the answers to all those questions. Uh-huh. But I, like, I don't want to mess around with it, so I'll let him Well, he's the guy it. with the answers. You can, uh, you can get them from him on Home Loans Radio. Don't miss the book and pay a quote with that mortgage guy. Moving on, uh, tomorrow is International Day for the Elimination of Racial Discrimination. All right. So, Sean, you're, did good, it. you're good till the end of the day. All right. <laughs> good. Great timing. Uh, is there anybody that's against that day? Because that would be worrisome. It seems like a pretty universally agreed upon thing that would be good. Yeah, I think so. Um, I, think, I think so that we agree on it, not uh, that <laughs> somebody's against it. Uh, the latest uh, artist to get uh, one of those weird, like, I have my own college course have you heard about, like, every once in a while, there'll be a college that goes, oh, we teach a Taylor Swift class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Or like Lauren Hill. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, well, the latest one is, and I think maybe there could be more to learn from this guy because he's really done a whole lot with uh, the kind of music that he makes. Is Weird Al Yankovic. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, sure. he's great, yeah. man. One class at Vermont State University is daring to be different by offering a musical class dedicated to learning from Mr. Yankovic, the musician and comedian mostly known for his witty parodies of popular songs like Eat It, Smells Like Nirvana, uh, Amish Paradise, and more. So if you're going to the Vermont State University, VSU, and learn a little bit about Weird Al. I wonder, I wonder nice. what the test is like there. Well, I, actually, that could be very interesting. It would be interesting to learn about satire and parody through the lens of Weird Al and his career. That's because, how I kind of learned about it, right? Yeah, that's. A, I think that's kind of cool, actually. Uh, the uh, fans of The Bachelor Monday Night were furious about Oprah and her infomercial for Ozempic. Oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. They're not mad that o- Oprah uses Ozempic. They're just mad that it got in the way of The Bachelor, you see, because <laughs> the fans didn't get the memo that the reality show would be airing its highly anticipated episode, The Women Tell All, at 9 p.m. instead of the regularly scheduled 8 p.m., which led them to rush to Twitter in fury. I was excited to turn on The Bachelor, but instead Oprah is on my TV giving an infomercial for Ozempic. Who asked for this? One fan even put all capital letters. Where is Maria? Mm-hmm. Yeah, people really like her. That she's one of the girls from the last episode, and I saw I saw this uh, most recent episode. I haven't. Uh, it's like the tiniest bit of drama, but you take the morsels where you can get them. Do they, are they still talking all over each other, uh, or did, have they calmed that down? Um, no, they they do that every time. It's just like a gaggle of talking all at the same time, always. So, uh, you know, I guess they'll get over it next week when they figure out who Brian and is picking. Forever. Because that's the end of it, right? Wait, it? his name's not Brian, is it? I think it's no. Brian. What? No, no it's not, not Brian. Brian. What's Joey his name? or something, isn't it? <laughs> but they find Joey. out who Joey yeah. is picking, of course. <laughs> who the hell is Brian? I don't Brian, know. Brian, Brian just cucked Joey and took <laughs> over halfway through. I've been, like, maybe I've been watching the wrong Bachelor. <laughs> I'm the Bachelor now. Guess who is coming to the Nebraska State Fair? Is it Brian? <laughs> that was a statement of fact. He's got uh, more time. Uh, <laughs> oh, oh, I see. I see. All right. Okay. And the uh, latest character from our childhood to get a movie reboot is Popeye the Sailor Man, guys. That's Are you ready? Time. You ready to bring back right. Popeye? Yeah, why not? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Okay, okay, okay. Uh, the pop culture icon known as the one-eyed sailor with, well, do you only have one eye? Yeah, yeah, he's a sailor. He's squinted. He's not a pirate. Damn, I thought he was a pirate until right now. Uh, <laughs> he's not Captain Hook. <laughs> no, he was like a Union sailor guy. He's a yeah. pop culture icon known as a one-eyed sailor with a cleft chin and a pipe in their mouth, which was edgy for that kind of time. They don't do was that it? with cartoons. I mean, Wait, wait, cleft chins were edgy at one point? No, the pipe, <laughs> the pipe in the mouth. <laughs> You can't hang out with David. Yeah. David's got a cleft chin. It says here, <laughs> while the character has a muscular physique, his forearms grow significantly every time he consumes a can of spinach. Uh, he's headed back to the big screen with a new live-action movie in development. Details are slim now, but Variety reports the film is a collaboration between uh, Chernin Entertainment and the owner of the Popeye IP. I didn't know this. King Features. That's huh. a, I would have thought, just I would have guessed Universal based on the fact that 
he has a presence at Islands of Adventure, but I did not know. I was you know, I was never a Popeye guy. My mom always did the thing that every token parent did, where they try to get you to eat your spinach right. by using Popeye. Propaganda. I think that's, I think that's what Big yeah. Spinach did. Like they hired Popeye for that. Or... They, I, they, I think they did. <laughs> and, <laughs> well, I don't have anything really against him, but Popeye always kind of seemed a little losery to me. He doesn't have a lot going well, on. Well, because uh, he always let uh, Brutus, uh, Bluto. Steal, Bluto, yeah, uh, Brian too. steal olive oil from him. <laughs> he and had olive unchecked oil's, anger issues. Uh, olive oil's not really the, you know. Are you kidding me? She's so <laughs> hot, dude. You know what I mean? Like, she's not the greatest catch. Uh, olive oil it seems like Popeye with the muscles or whatever could get something better out there. Yeah, you would think. But, but then when the, when the spinach is all gone and the muscles go away. <laughs> He's just a loser. He's, he's happy to have <laughs> olive oil, I think. Uh, Dan Schneider has broke, uh, broke silence after watching the Quiet on the Set oh, documentary. That's on... a great documentary, by the way. Watch the first two episodes today. We uh, it's four episodes long. We finished it yesterday. Okay, uh, I want to talk. I want to talk longer about this in the next segment with both of you, since you've seen some of this. Mm-hmm. Um, because yeah, I have the some of the video of his response, et cetera, et cetera. And then, see, then I want to hit on some of the things you talked about yesterday with me off the air. Because there's, there's, there's a lot interesting about this story, I think. Uh, Ashley's main takeaway from it was mm-hmm. one that we run into a lot of times when we watch these docu-series. Could have been a movie. Could have just been a yeah, one yep. long form documentary. I mean, some of the some of the points in the docu series, in this four part docu series, where they're just like, I mean, how to say nothing in five hundred words for a while until you get to something that's uh, juicy. But Dan Schneider has broken his silence after watching it, responding to the allegations of toxic behaviors on sets during his time at Nickelodeon. Uh, investigation discoveries quiet on the set. The dark side of kids TV claimed, among other things, that Schneider allowed toxic workplace conditions, and that he tormented the cast and crew of his shows. When I watched the show, I could see the hurt in some people's eyes, and it made me feel awful and regretful and sorry. I wish I could go back, especially those early years of my career, and bring the growth and the experience that I have now, among other things, from Dan Schneider. He's just trying to get hired somewhere. Mm -hmm. Maybe. maybe. He doesn't doesn't feel that way. Maybe. Uh, And and, uh, as you learn in the documentary, you can be really bad and still get rehired in children's television, at least back then. MGM Resorts is coming to the defense of Bruno Mars after rumors rumor circulated about the Grammy winner's debt with the casino. A report from News Nation last week made claims that Mars had racked up over $50 million in gambling debt at MGM, citing an anonymous source close to the situation that said Marge allegedly made $90 million a year through his residencies at MGM, but had to use a large chunk of that profit to pay off his gambling debts, saying he will only make $1.5 million per night after taxes, and MGM basically owns him. MGM says that much is not true. But if he was making Amazing. that much money from them and then owed them $50 million, that is really a compulsive gambler. Like, that's next level. But they're they're saying it's not true. They're saying it's not true. But, but, okay, if he's making $90 million, he owes $50 million. He's got his debts covered. Are they putting him up there? I mean, maybe he's just, you know, having fun maybe. with his money. He's got other sources of income. He's Bruno Mars. Yeah, he's not right, too Right, guys? Too bad. Of yeah. course. Yeah. On the boob tube, one that will be invading my house, I know. Uh, season premiere of Top Chef, which heads to Wisconsin with 15 new chefs. New rules. Uh, nice. They're shaking, a new host. They're, they're shaking stuff up. And new host, Kristen Kish. Uh, no quick fire challenge this week to Kristen, Tom and Gail task five chefs with cooking dish. They believe is worthy of being a good chef. Uh, who is she uh, replacing Padma? Yes. Yeah. Padma retired that after all these years is a huge loss. Padma is such a mooba boy. A mooba boy. Yeah. What? Uh, she's such a bitch. <laughs> Padma, I remember seeing an episode where one of the contestants was cooking for their life, trying to stay in the competition. And Padma said, could you hurry up? These heels are really uncomfortable. And I was like, what? Oh, I like are it. Are you kidding me? Uh, but, but she was very closely associated with that show, so it'll be interesting to see how this goes. I like the, the replacement lady, though. She's good. And uh, Jared Carmichael and Chicano Batman on Jimmy Kimmel, Chris and Wig and Lenny Kravitz on The Tonight Show with Jimmy Fallon. And that, friends, is your next episode. Thank oh, you. Wow. Thank you. Crowd. Wow. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, it seems to like it. Yeah. did it. All right. Josh, you don't need to applaud along with the fake crowd. Is this enough? It, it what, wasn't wait, 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 a fake, fake crowd. crowd. What are you talking about? <laughs> I've got a whole crowd here with me. Under Pop the quiz. Desk. 
Everybody, hands up. Hands off your keyboard. Pop quiz. What is Bruno Mars's real name? Uh, Venus. Nope, not <laughs> Venus. I thought Fritz had the best chance at it. No, he knows these I kind of know. things. Let's say Michael Rappaport. It is Michael Rappaport. Right. I knew yeah. it. <laughs> Peter Gene Hernandez. Is oh, Bruno that Mars. is... <laughs> Peter check his ID. You're like, wah, wah. Yeah, that's not even close. All right, quick break. When we come back, I want to get his a parents further. gave him three names that he hates. <laughs> yeah, right. Uh, I want to get more into this Dan Schneider docuseries. I'm glad that Fritz watched it and Celine did as well. Fritz, are you going to hang out with us? Yeah, we're going to do Fritz on the Street. Oh, my Hopefully. God. Oh, my God. Fritz on the Street. Fritz on the Street is first, obviously. Fritz on the Street is first. And then Dan Schneider. Then we'll Schneider. get into all the other stuff. When we come back, now is your time to get our attention so you can get your hands on one of the few remaining Fritz magnets. Thank you, Fritz, for keeping me uh, in line there. Hell as yeah. I completely space. I thought we were already past Fritz on the street. We are not that excited. I already won. Next. Yep, I already no, won. Guys. You didn't. You didn't. Yeah. If you want us to represent you and Fritz on the street, now is the time you get our attention. And all you have to do is, you know, utilize chat or uh, uh, email, text, whatever you want to do. And we'll pick somebody to fight for them. If we win, you win. Fritz on the street, the greatest game in all the radio, coming up next on the News Junkie. Do you do words good? Prove it. The talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone, and speak. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center, lowest prices on the highest quality jewelry. GoldsmithJewelry.com. Traveling on I-4 this afternoon, you could expect your regular delays before US-27 and approaching Sand Lake Road. There's an accident off to the shoulder on I-4 eastbound between State Road 429 and World Drive causing delays. Authorities are clearing up an accident on Hiawassee Road southbound at Old Winter Garden Road, and there's slowdowns due to an accident on Curry Ford Road eastbound at Goldenrod Road. See traffic troubles? Call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Discover. Did you know Discover wants everyone to feel special? That's why with your Discover card, you have access to 24-7 customer service as well as $0 fraud liability, which means you're never held responsible for unauthorized purchases. Learn more at discover.com slash credit card. Limitations apply. This earful of real radio is brought to you by JustCallMo.com. Injured on the go? JustCallMo.com. Homeowners, are you ready to love your home again? Install Brick Paver can build eye-catching walkways, patios, or driveways. They can build custom fire pits for relaxing with your family. They even build outdoor kitchens and build retaining walls. Everything you need to create a perfect outdoor paradise. Install Brick Paver can do it with spectacular results. Go to InstallBrickPaver.com to see our amazing home makeovers. You can also get a free, no-obligation quote for your outdoor project. Call for free information now. 407-337-4040. Call 407 407- 7337-4040. Install Brick Paver is a family-owned and operated company with over 20 years experience and fantastic Google reviews. We are Orlando's finest family-owned paving experts. Fire pits, pool decks, paver driveways, patios, and hardscaping. Install Brick Paver does it all. Call for your free estimate now. Get in early before our spring schedule gets booked. Call 407-337-4040. That's 407-337-4040. With new doors by Renewal by Anderson, you can cut back on energy usage, boost your home's curb appeal, and increase your comfort. Renewal by Anderson makes that transition easy for you thanks to a selection of beautiful, functional replacement doors that are as beautiful as they are convenient. I love pretty French patio doors, but in so many cases, they seem flimsy and over time can warp, not to mention the security concerns that can come with them. Renewal by Anderson is better because every patio door is built with their exclusive Fibrex material which is two times stronger than vinyl and features a five-point locking system, which improves energy efficiency and, better yet, an increased level of security. Renewal by Anderson has a great offer to help you get started during the month of March. Buy one window and or patio door and get one 40% off. Plus, no money down, no payments, and 0% interest for 12 months. Visit rbafla.com. Some restrictions apply. Official partner of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. License number CGC1527613. Did you know that your largest investment asset might not be your retirement account or home? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. Most people don't realize that their life insurance policy is actually an asset they can sell. But for almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. 
We've even created a free policy value calculator at abacuspays.com so you can find out in seconds what we might pay for your policy. There are no fees and no obligations, just information. Knowing the value of your life insurance policy is as important as knowing the value of your home, your equity portfolio, or your finances in total. Discover the valuable information you need to understand the current market value for your life insurance, and then get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Visit abacuspays.com to learn more and use our free policy value calculator today. Sunnyside Plumbing. Yes, I've got a leaking... To leave us a testimonial saying how happy you are with our service, press 1. But you haven't even... For all other inquiries, please hang up. Wait, what? Hang up and call Frank Gay. We're busy watching the game. You know what? I think I will. When you have a leak, you need solutions on your schedule. A helpful expert who can find the problem and fix it fast. That's the Frank Gay. FrankGayServices.com. Yo, it's Angel from the Monsters. You want a big green egg? For the lowest prices anywhere, you got to go to my friends, Wasi's Meat Market. They will deliver and set up your big green egg so that you are cooking before they leave. Follow Wasi's Meat Market on Instagram or go to Wasi'sMeatMarket.com for your big green egg today. My wife and I both, we ended up mildly sick for a few months and the nasal congestion was probably the worst part. I had like a post-nasal drip, just super congested all the time. We were taking everything we possibly could, but nothing. Nothing really worked. Kyrie was miserable until a friend recommended Navage. Navage offers immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus, germs, and other airborne irritants. Don't live in misery this cold season. Use Navage so you can breathe easier, sleep better, and feel your best right away. The biggest thing Navage has done has completely cleaned out my nasal passages. It, it was from the first use. I was able to just clear out anything that was stopping me from breathing correctly. Navage helps me clear the way, literally clear the way, for me to operate better in the rest of my life. Experience the Navage difference yourself. Navage is available at navage.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E. To thank you for 40 unforgettable years, Dell Technologies is celebrating with anniversary savings on their most popular tech. For a limited time only, save on select next-gen PCs like the XPS 13 Plus, powered by Intel Core processors and more. Plus, curate your dream setup with great deals on select monitors, mice, and more must-have electronics and accessories. When you shop online at dell.com slash deals, you'll have access to leading-edge technology and free shipping on everything. Again, that's dell.com slash deals. Stock with a shot! Oh, what a goal! What a goal! Stock McGuire! Orlando City is back at home this Saturday, March 23rd at 7.30 p.m., taking on Austin FC in their first visit to Orlando. Be sure to stick around after the match for the 90s post-game concert presented by Intern Co. featuring Vanilla Ice, Rob Bass, and Montel Jordan. Tune in on Real Radio 104.1 and watch on any device on the Apple TV app. Score 0% APR financing on popular models like Rogue. Now at Sutherland Nissan Orlando. See dealer for details. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because you deserve better. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Radio, 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 radio. Filling you in on the shocking details. Just try not to pass out. You're just moments away from playing along with us. Here's how things go. We all pick somebody, and we represent them at Fritz on the Street. And if we win, you win. And you get your hands on this right here. Those of you watching over at thenewsjunkie.com slash live, you can see this is the Fritz magnet for Game of Magnets. This is a great one. Very, very rare. Very hard to get. Only way you can get it, in fact, is if we win while well, we represent you and Fritz on the Street. And playing today, uh, myself, c and Josh, since Sabrina is out dealing with some family stuff, uh, I will be representing Decon on YouTube. That's who I'm picking, Decon on YouTube. 
What about you, C Lane? I am picking Matt in PSL, who uh, asked me very, very early on Saturday at Just Okay. (laughs) All right. Okay. And what about you, Josh? I've got that gentleman from earlier. My brother can suck it. Okay, my brother can suck it for well, you. who's the gentleman from earlier, and why are you being so rude to your brother? Count it. Uh, do you have the uh, the sounders, Josh, or do I need to play it over here? I can do that if need be. Uh, nope. He's he's I got it. Me. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Biggest question no. ever. How about this, Fritz? You ready to go? Hell yeah, son. All right, let's do Fritz on the street. Now it's time for on the street. Hello, Sean. Hello, Josh. Hello, Christopher. Hello, Hello hey, Fritz. Hey, Fritz. Fritz on the street is sponsored by Mo DeWitt. Injured on the go? Just call Mo. That's 866-CALL-MO. 866-CALL-MO. In first place with 78 points, we have Mr. Christopher Lane. Yeah. In second place with 69 points. Nice. Sean Wasson. Nice. In third place with 68 points, we have Sabrina Ambra. Nice. <laughs> and in fourth place with 27 points, we have Josh Fowler. All right. All right. He's in the game. Yep. Uh, eight questions, four current event questions, and four general knowledge trivia questions. If you think you know it, chime in by saying your name for that bonus point opportunity. Fritz, am I to assume you return to the esteemed Cavo's Bar and Kitchen to uh, perform trivia and get these questions answered yesterday? That is correct. Yeah, last week I like was dealing with a cold. I lost my voice. I was just coughing a lot, and I was like, I need to chill out because just okay is Saturday, and I don't yeah. want to blow it. So. That makes sense. Yep, I was back. Uh, we had had nine teams it was packed which was awesome nice so, that's great yeah without further ado if you think you know it chime in for that bonus point question number one goes like this last week which republican senator gave a widely panned state of the union rebuttal ceiling oh oh no uh i watched the, the parody on snl and everything <laughs> smart that is, that is incorrect sean Carrie Lake? That is Josh. incorrect. Josh? Katie Britt. Katie Britt is correct. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Good for Josh. Josh, out of eight answers, how many do you think said oh. Katie Britt? Three. Three. Well, three's a good guess, too. Might be uh, too generous. I'll say two. Two for Sean. I'll say three. And three for C Lane. Question number one with answers of two. And three. Ding, 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 oh, ding. Oh, oh, oh. So, picking up two points. Last week, which Republican senator gave a widely panned State of the Union rebuttal? Um, I don't know, some blonde chick. Sarah Palin. Nixon. Katie, oh, Katie Britt. Katie Britt. Pass. Katie Britt. Mitch McConnell. That would be three. So Josh is hitting a three-pointer to start the game. Yeah, buddy. C Lane with a guess of three, picking up two points. And Sean with a guess of two, picking up one point. Yeah. Now move on to question number two. It's about anatomy. What are the bones in the fingers called? Oh, C-Lane. Gosh. C-Lane. oh my mic was off, and I, when I, <laughs> I was like, I'm never going to get that. Uh, phalanges. Phalanges is are correct. C Lane, out of eight answers, how many do you think said phalanges? I think six. Six? Oh, you're crazy. Okay. Four. Four, four. See, oh, you weigh Sean. Seaway <laughs> Sean. They call me Seaway Sean. <laughs> I'm going to go dead C-way center Sean. with five. <laughs> five. Five for Josh. Question two with answers of four, five, and six. Ding, 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 ding. Oh, oh, someone knows their fingers. What are the bones in the fingers called? Phalanges? Phalanges. Uh, fingy bones. <laughs> Phalanges. <laughs> I can't remember. You should know this. You said a bitch. I know. <laughs> Phalanges. Tell him, Fritz. <laughs> Phalanges. Finger bones. That would be five. Woo! That means uh, Josh is picking up two points. And C Lane and Sean with a guess of six and four, each picking up one point. Moving on now to question number three. Recently, the U.S. House passed legislation on which popular social media. Josh. Josh. TikTok. TikTok is correct. On which popular social media app? Josh, out of eight answers, how many do you think said tuck tick? Oh, seven. Seven? Eight for me. Eight for C Lane. Bold. Mmm, seven. And seven for Sean. Question three. 
with answers of seven and eight. Ding, 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 ding. Who knows their apps? Recently, the U.S. House passed legislation on which popular social media app? Ah, the tick of the talk. TikTok. <laughs> TikTok. 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 Yeah, baby. Damn. All eight. So, C Lane, you're picking up two points on that one. Josh and Sean with your guesses of seven, each picking up one point. Question Whatever. four is the halfway point after question four. <laughs> I'll tell you who is leading so far on the day. Question four is about a TV show. On the TV show Cheers, what was Sam's nickname when he pitched for the Boston Red Sox? Sean. Sean? It was Swingin' Sammy. That is incorrect. <clears throat> C-Lane. C-Lane. Sam Alama Ding Dong. That is incorrect. <laughs> Josh. Josh. Uh, green eggs and Sam. <laughs> that is incorrect. That would be we Mayday. We all tried, though. <laughs> Mayday? Oh, my God. Mayday Malone. Uh, let's see. Josh, you got question three, right? We will start with you. Out of eight answers, how many do you think said Mayday? How many do you think said Sam Alama Ding Dong? Uh, let's, uh, two. Two? One for me. Uh, one for C Lane. Four. And four for Sean. Question four. With answers of one, two, and four. Ding, 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 ding. So far, perfect through four. Nice. On the TV show Cheers, what was Sam's nickname when he pitched for the Boston Red Sox? I have no idea. I have no idea. That's, uh, yeah, I don't know. Dodger? Cheers, man. <laughs> I don't know. Mayday. Fastball Whoa. Sam. That would be one. Damn. So C-Lane is picking up two points on that one. And Josh, with your guess of two, picking up one point. That means halfway through, Fritz on the street, four up, four down. That means in first place, we have a tie. Eight points each. Christopher Lane slash Matt in PSL and Josh Fowler slash my brother can suck it. Nice. How many does Sean have? Uh, (laughs) Sean is in third place with three points. What the hell? Sean Watson slash That's what I have it. on my sheet. I just thought I was wrong. I was like, I, I can't be that low. Sean Watson slash Decon. We have four remaining. We move on. Sorry, to Decon. Question number five. Question five. Which film won Best Picture at this year? Josh. Year's, Josh. Oppenheimer. Oppenheimer is correct. Which film won Best Picture at this year's Academy Awards? Josh, out of eight answers, how many do you think said Oppenheimer? Seven. Seven. Six. Six Whoa. for Sean. Mm-hmm. 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 Seven. And seven for C Lane. Nice. Question Good five. Choice. With answers of six and seven. Which film won no. Best Picture at this year's Academy Awards? Damn Oppenheimer. It. Oppenheimer. Uh Oppenheimer? Oppenheimer? Unfortunately, Oppenheimer. 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 Eight. So Damn. Josh and C Lane with a guess of seven each picking up one right. point. The streak has ended. We now move. That one to... guy wasn't an Oppenheimer fan nah, too. He, was yeah. he, he said, "Oh, unfortunately, Oppenheimer." Yeah, he started crying. And then somebody <laughs> said Oppenheimer, which I think is what Fritz said. There's like the right way to say it or something. Yeah, once. I don't know exactly because uh, I was gonna look it up and then uh, I got drunk instead. <laughs> <laughs> so I have no idea. So it goes. We move True. on to question number six. Which actress has had roles in films such as Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, the Harry Potter franchise? Fight Club and Les Miserables. Josh. 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 Elena Bonham Carter. That is yeah. correct. Yes. Josh, out of eight answers, how many do you think said Miss Carter? God. Or I guess Miss Bonham Carter. Four. Four. Five. Five for C Lane. Three. And three for Sean. Question six with answers of three, four, and five. Ding, 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 ding. Mm-hmm. And we're right back at it. Which actress has had roles in films such as Charlie and the Chocolate Factory, the Harry Potter franchise, Fight Club, and Les Miserables? I can see her face. I can't. I can't think of her name. Oh! 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 Um, Helena Bonham Carter. Helena Bonham Carter. Helena Bonham Carter. Three. I'm, yeah, I'm not getting it. Emma Watson. Helena Bonham Carter. Helena Bonham Carter. Ah. That would be five. So C-Lane's picking up two points on that one. Josh, with your guess of four, picking up one point. Oh, ah, well. We have two remaining. Question seven. Who won a landslide election to secure a fifth term as Russia's president? Josh. Josh. Vladimir Putin. That is correct. It's like I'm not even playing it. Josh, out of eight answers, how many do you think said Putin? 
Uh, you said Russia's president. Mm hmm. In fifth um, turn. Let's go eight. Eight. Seven. Seven for C lane. I, I feel like I have to radically change my strategy or I'm going to keep getting the same results. Two. Three. Three for Buddy, That is Three. radical. You're right. That is Three. quite radical. Question oh, seven. No. You're not going to be saying, you're not going to be talking like this if it's a three, though. If it's a three, you're going to say it's genius. You're right. On yeah. the very oh, wow. slim chance. Questions? I don't think I would say it's genius. <laughs> no, why? If I nailed it, if I got it actually three, it would be a genius move. No, it'd be a really lucky move. I think it's a good chance it's going to be three. Okay, well. Well, let's see. Let's question, go to the tape. Question seven with answers of three, seven, and eight. Ding, 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 oh, ding, ding. That's me. Oh, let's That's see. That's me. Who won a landslide election to secure a fifth term as Russia's president? Putin. Putin. One. Putin. Vladimir Two. Putin. That's Vladimir it. Putin. No. Totally rightfully elected uh, Putin. 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 I know his name. Putin. Oh. That would be eight. Yes. So Josh is hitting a three-pointer. Who's the genius now? <laughs> and Lane with a guess of seven, picking up one point. Guess what? In 5,000 parallel universes, one of them, I won that. Yeah, in one sure. of oh. them, I got that right. Congrats. For sure. Yeah. We have one question remaining. Thank you, Josh. Thank you. You didn't have to say that. Thank you. you. I appreciate it's, it. It's not for you. It's for multiverse, Sean. Oh. <laughs> Jeez. We have one question remaining. Let's go to the scoreboard first, though. And first place with 15 points. The record is 16, by the way. Josh Fowler slash my brother can suck it. Uh, oh, no. Oh. In second place with 12 points, Christopher Lane slash Matt in PSL. And Wait, if, he's, he's an interloper and he's about to get the record? He might he might tie and, 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 bre- and or break it. Uh, and in third place with three points, Sean Watson slash Decon. So we have 15. You're the same Wait, amount I still of points have as three the... points? Yeah. <laughs> Your radical strategy paid off. <laughs> I only did that on one of them. The other one was my normal strategy. We have 15, oh. 12, and 3. Going into question number 8. Question eight. What, on one side, somebody's going to break the Fritz on the street record for the most points. And the other side is Sean. Yeah, is there a least the point least. record? I, I tried I'll to nail it. it at the end yeah. of last year. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll I accidentally got points. Yeah, yeah that's, that is true. <laughs> Question number eight. What is the capital of Nicaragua? Sea lane. Sea lane. Mm, Nicaragua. That would be uh, Nicaragua City. That is incorrect. Mm. Oh, man. Sean. Sean. The capital of Nicaragua. You want to have the locals say it or how everybody else says it? Uh, surprise me. Fomolfinian. <laughs> that is incorrect. Josh. Can you double check? Just can you just... <laughs> Yeah, uh, too many pop-ups. Omdomofinian? How do you spell that? <laughs> like a U with the dots on top. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, umlau, the drunk colon fell asleep uh, on, a, on a no. <laughs> uh, that that's gonna be San Filippo. That would be Managua. I was close. Oh. Managua, Nicaragua. Josh, you got question seven right. We will start with you. Out of eight answers, how many do you think said Managua? Which mm. I think means man water. Men water. Uh, oh. the one. <laughs> got it. <laughs> um, Fritz, I'm gonna lock in with eight. Eight for sure. I think it's going to be eight. There's that I'm radical gonna, strategy. I'm going mm-hmm. to go, go two for man water. And two for sea lane. Question eight with answers of one, two, and eight. Come ding, on, ding, eight. ding, 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 oh, ding. Man. It's eight. Are it's we, eight. Are we about to make history on Fritz on the Street? Let's oh, see. God. What is the capital of Nicaragua? Tegucigalpa. I don't know. I don't know. Nicaragua City. Yeah. <laughs> Managua. Managua. There it is. Managua, Nicaragua. I literally have the song in my head. Oh my I know them all. <laughs> Coffee City. <laughs> Cape Town. Uh, pass. No idea. That would be one. That means Josh Woo! is picking up two points. Sea Lane with your guess of two, you are picking up one point. Rubbish. Rubbish. And that ends the day with a Fritz on the Street record of 17 <laughs> points. In first place, Josh Fowler slash My Brother Can Suck It. Uh, if second. Josh beats me on the year in Fritz on the Street, 
I'm done, and man. In, in second place with 13 points, Christopher Lane slash Matt and PSL. And in third place with three points, Sean Walson slash D Con. That means in first place with 78 points and still leading on Fritz on the Street. Christopher Lane in second place with 69 points, Sean Wasson. In third place with 68 points, Sabrina Ambra. And in fourth place with 44 points now, Josh Fowler. <laughs> and that is Fritz on the Street. About doubled it. <laughs> All Jesus. right, Fritz. Thank you, Fritz. <laughs> wow. I feel embarrassed. Uh, Decon, I just want to say that I'm sorry. I apologize for letting you down. I don't know what happened there. I zigged when I should have zagged and all, all the in-between. What's the song that they were talking about? Like, is there a song to memorize some of the capitals like that? Like, oh, Managua, yeah. Nicaragua. Oh, Managua, oh, Managua. <laughs> that's not it. That's, that's oh, an, Managua, I, Nicaragua. That's just Clementine. You're just <laughs> remixing Clementine. I, that, if that was one of the questions in Fritz on the Street, I would have gotten it. Yeah, I actually sure, would have nailed too. that. There was, just a, that one. there was just a Jeopardy uh, clue about Nicaragua, and it was about mm -hmm. the, the namesake of Nicaragua, and it was like, they named it after the people and Spanish for water. And I went, huh? Uh, that sounds offensive. Wait, you knew that, and you didn't get the answer right? <laughs> I didn't know Managua. Managua is different. The people and Spanish for water, man, agua. No. Yeah, I don't think it really means that. Though. No, no, no. Yeah. Oh, it, it, it means place of the big man or chief. Oh. Surrounded by water. Well, that's kind of cool. Yeah. That's what I call that my house, cool. too. <laughs> yeah, I call my house Managua. It's just, uh, <laughs> or is that what Nicaragua means? Either way. All right, quick break. Fritz can hang out with us for a little while, I yeah. think. You got you got like a segment for us? Okay. Yeah, for sure. Right. Yeah. When we come back, we want to talk about what's going on with that docu-series about oh, yeah. Nickelodeon that everybody has been bringing up. And they, C Lane and Fritz, have watched this. Josh, have you watched any of this at all or no? Uh, only a few clips. Okay, I've seen a clip here or there, and we've got some of the response and all kinds of stuff. We've got to digest that, so let's do that. It's coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio is the Jim Colbert Show. There are just four of them, but an infinite amount of flavors. The Jim Colbert Show, weekdays at 3 on Real Radio 104.1. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. There's a couple accidents to watch out for on I-4 this afternoon. Eastbound between State Road 429 and World Drive, the shoulder's blocked. I-4 eastbound near State Road 535, the right shoulder is blocked there as well. And authorities are working on an accident on Turkey Lake Road southbound at Central Florida Parkway. The right lane is blocked. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Direct Auto. Direct Auto Insurance is for uncompromisers. With a super low down payment, you can stop compromising and keep driving. Get a free quote at directauto.com. Down payments vary does not mean savings. How you buy can affect price. National General Group, Winston-Salem. Hi, welcome to Ikea and our spring storage event. Oh, hi. Save big on storage with lots of new lower prices and limited time offers. Perfect. I'm making the winter to spring swap and I have no idea where to put my sweaters and gloves. We can help you get organized and store winter away. And we've got in-store events for more inspiration. Sign me up. Visit us in store from 320 to 49 or at ikea-usa.com slash ikea spring storage for more details. Offer valid dates may vary. U.S. only while supplies last. Selection may vary by store and online. See store on ikea-usa.com slash ikea spring storage for complete terms. Restrictions apply. When you call me for an injury case, you don't pay a dime unless we win. The call and the advice are always free. Injured on the go, just call Mo. 866-CALL-MO. Mo DeWitt. Orlando's injury attorneys. The number one cause of accidents is distracted driving, like cell phones, eating, and playing with the radio. So leave it right here on Real Radio. Injured on the go? Just call Mo.com. Mo DeWitt, Orlando's injury attorney. Mills Air in business since 1992. That's over 30 years here in Central Florida. They're not going anywhere. Carrier factory authorized dealer. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier. Equipment change yachts and upgrades right now with up to $1,275 in rebates. Visit MillsAir.com. Tax time means a much needed cash bonus for many people. But for business owners, it can mean the opposite. Hey, this is R.C. Hill from R.C. Hill, Mitsubishi in Deland. My accountant said I need to reduce my tax burden now. So I'm going to overpay for your old car because I'd rather give 
you the money than the government. Get up to $4,297 more for your old car than it's actually worth. No matter where you bought the car, no matter how many miles are on it. It's simple. Trade in your old car you hate driving and get a new car today like a Mitsubishi Mirage 43 miles per gallon lifetime warranty. That means most people can trade and lower their payment. Or let me double your tax refund up to $2,500. RC Hill Mitsubishi specializes in approving customers with below average credit scores. My goal this month is 100% credit approval. This month, my prices will not be beat. This sale ends when my accountant says enough is enough. I'm RC Hill at RC Hill Mitsubishi, Central Florida's first choice for new Mitsubishis. Two locations, Deland and now in Ocala. Or visit me at rchill.com. That's rchill.com. Credit requires bank approval. See rchill.com for details. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. Introducing Tanside Stone Tile Flooring, a game changer in the tile industry. Say goodbye to the trade-off between durability and easy installation with Tanzite's revolutionary indoor-outdoor stone tile. Visit Tanzite.com to see how our tile is installed without concrete or mortar. Instead, our innovative rubber gasket system connects the tiles together. Each tile coming pre-assembled, you simply grab one and place it. No expertise needed. At Tanzai.com, you can see how our foam back tiles contour to cover any existing floor while insulating against sound and cold. Beautiful and versatile. Tanzai tile adapts to indoor or outdoor use. From kitchens to patios on concrete basements or wooden decks. All with the durability of stone that's guaranteed for life. Witness this innovative product yourself and order a sample today at Tanzite.com. That's T-A-N-Z-I-T-E dot com. Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. Satch 5, Joe Satriani, and Steve 5. Two guitar virtuosos together. Friday, March 22nd at Hard Rock Live Orlando. Tickets on sale now at Ticketmaster and the Hard Rock Live box office. NFL Total Access, the podcast, is getting you ready for the NFL Draft. I'm your host, Andrew Levy, and I'll be delivering two shows a week to make sure you're caught up on the latest NFL news, every free agency move, and how it changes the draft needs of your NFL team. Draft experts, talent scouts, mock drafts, and shock drafts, too. NFL Total Access, the podcast, on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Presented by T-Mobile for Business. Now is the time for 5G business. The most viral newsroom on the planet is still humming along. Subject line, oh my God. And it says, okay, I never email y'all, but I just listened to the guy talk about the big egg industrial <laughs> complex. I think that was C Lane. Was that C Lane? The guy. She's I calling you the so. guy. Unbelievable. Don't call him the guy. You're says, the this... guy, I think, bud. Well, I, did I talk about big egg? Yeah. You talked about uh, eggs. Uh, okay. Well, I talked a lot about egg, but uh, she says, I never email y'all, but I listened to the guy talk about big egg. This guy is an idiot. 
Has he never <laughs> been to a chicken farm? There's no big anything when it comes to agriculture. Believe me, I've worked in the industry for 20 years. Chickens, dairy, beef, it's all family farms that work through a co-op to get their food to your table. 98% of all farms are family-owned and operated. People that don't work all day in the sun and on Thanksgiving and Christmas sure have a lot of opinions on something they just read on the Internet. Nothing is added to eggs. Nothing. Farmers have worked on genetics for years to, yes, create breeds that lay more consistently and lay larger eggs. The whole shell comes off easier is because the eggs you buy at the store are already about a month old and still completely fine to eat. But the membrane beneath the shell gets thinner the older the egg is, so it makes it easier to peel, she says. The yolk may be a deeper orange if the chickens are free-range due to being able to eat bugs, which will darken the yolk and make it taste better. Okay, sorry, I'll get off my soapbox now. I just hate when people talk bad about agriculture when they've never talked to a farmer or stepped foot on a farm. Love you guys, Melanie. See, well, so first this, of all. Yeah, this smells like uh, the, uh, Big Egg was found out, mm-hmm. right? So Big Egg <laughs> had their sleeper cell email yep. and say, whoa, 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 whoa. You we guys got are all a Big wrong. Egg shill here. Yep, Big Egg activated. Uh, here's what we want. You know, I'm going to start doing this more. Um, I would like you. I hope not. What, 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 <laughs> <laughs> what does that even mean? What's, what's the problem? Well, I don't know. I just hope not. <laughs> Melanie. I'm going to start throwing this out there more. If you're a farmer and we're missing on this, I would love for you to do me a favor. Go over to the newsjunkie.com and in the interviews section, if you scroll down, you can see where it says that you could be interviewed on the show. Check that out and then email me tips at the newsjunkie.com and tell me who you are and we'll line up an interview with you. Because we always want to do that. We always want to talk to people and learn more about this stuff. Second, you're wrong. Right. Here's what I mean when I'm talking about Big Egg. And I brought this story up not just to dunk on you, but just to remind people that I'm always right. Um, and just to like just to share this with you as well. There was other reasons. Uh, this is a story, and it's from the Associated Press, a trust uh, a trustworthy outlet. It said U.S. egg producers conspired to fix prices from 2004 to 2008 of federal jury rules. Okay, right here it says an Illinois jury ruled this week that several major egg producers conspired to limit the U.S. supply of eggs in order to raise prices in a case stemming from a federal lawsuit originally filed 12 years ago. Several large food manufacturing it companies took them 12 years to uh, debunk this whole thing. Yeah, because Big Egg is is good at like blocking that stuff off. Listen to guy. <laughs> Several large food manufacturing companies, including Kraft Foods Global Incorporated and the Kellogg Company, alleged in the lawsuit originally filed filed in 2011 that producers used various means to limit the U.S. domestic supply of eggs to increase the prices of eggs and egg products during the 2000s. So they said there was like a big egg conglomerate, well, not really a conglomerate, but a group of the industry, so to speak that work together to do a little bit of price fixing, right? So sometimes that stuff does indeed happen. It's not always a grand conspiracy. Uh, Okay, now let's go over to the folks in the know, because I know that Fritz said that he has watched this docu-series about Nickelodeon. I think it's called Quiet On Set, The Dark Side of Kids TV. Yeah, I watched the first two and a half. I, I got to episode three where the surprise guest comes out. All right, and this is not just about the Dan Schneider guy. It's about some other people, too. Mm. Uh, there's, there's been a alleged stuff against a guy named Jason Handy, a, a dialogue coach named Brian Peck. What's the wrong, worst. Josh? Josh what's, <laughs> Josh, what's wrong? I'm just really <laughs> broken up about the whole thing. Uh-huh. Well, you big Jason, Drake Bell fan? Jason yep. Handy and Brian Peck. So Handy and Peck, those two were allegedly involved in some of this. And then a studio freelancer named Azel Channel or Channel or Channel, and then the famed one, which is Dan Schneider. Now, Dan Dan Schneider, if you know about these accusations, they've been floating out there for a very long time. Had you heard of him before the docu series, Fritz? Yeah. Okay, so you heard because of like, of like a reel I saw on TikTok or or uh, Instagram where like someone was like painting him out of a picture. Yeah, and and you've seen th- things like this. So let me give you. Um, hang on, let me give you an example here. There's a lot of clips about these Dan Schneider-led shows that will show you things that kind of look like they were meant to be dirty or to, like, titillate the audience with young kids. So here's uh, one from I don't even know what show. Take three sentences that I bet not one person has ever said Do you know who this is? No, who is Ariana that? Grande. Ariana Grande. Is it really? Yeah. Okay. Gosh, you look so young and different there. She looks like a different human being now. History of mankind. Sentence number one. Oh, man, my uvula got stuck 
between that hamster's toes. See? That could never happen because your uvula is that swingy thing in the back of your throat right here. Oh. She like puts her finger in her in her mouth. So there's no way you could get it stuck between a hamster's toes. Sentence number three. All right, she flips upside down. I'm soaking wet. Quick, somebody bring me the ocean. So she flips upside down on her bed and like pours water over her face and yeah. it's like super weird. No, wait, I don't think that's Ariana Grande, by the way. It's not. No, what? I don't think it is. Uh, it says the slap it on the bottom like of the screen, her. but I don't even know what that is. Yeah. Then, then there's one where she puts her feet in her mouth. Then there's one where she's like you know, swinging this potato around. Oh, oh potato no, potato is her. The potato she's trying to juice. Sometimes yeah. I wonder if you can get juice from a potato. And she's holding the potato with two hands and. <laughs> All right, so I will say that <laughs> all of these, weird, dude. all of these things strung together are weird and strange, but is it like? One of those things that you're doing post hoc where you go, this guy's creepy. And then you find all these things that are maybe like, maybe not in context as creepy as you would think. It, does it seem like they're, they're like, if you watch fishing, the, if you watch, uh, I think what you're getting at is if you watched every episode of all of these shows, w would it all be like this? Or was this just little things that are peppered among the different things that people have super cut to make Dan Schneider look worse. Yeah, I mean, are people kind of going on a fishing expedition and they take anything and they go, oh, look, she got um, uh, got the slime spilled on her and it went the, on her face. The other point that, well, and they, uh, the other point that they make is, is um, that he's just an asshole and he created a toxic work environment. Oh, and, mm -hmm. uh, and so that was the other thing they were coming after him for. And that and, and does, does one fuel the other? I think he could. I don't know. I mean, you guys have seen this. Now, like if this I really is... hated Josh, I could go on like this uh, fishing trip to find every terrible, terrible thing he's ever said, uh -huh. and then just string it together, and it's just, you know, slur, slur, we... slur, 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 slur. Mutually assured cancellation will happen. <laughs> 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 and by the way, this is separate of, like, Drake Bell is making accusations against this dialogue coach, Brian Peck, saying that yeah. he was, just, like, sexually abused and terrible things happened to him. That's neither here nor there. I, I, I'll take him at his word. Uh, it seems like it was definitely part of the case, and his name somehow did not surface for all of that time when it looks like the network clearly knew about that. All of those things are very concerning and weird. But some of it seems like, I don't know, is this the same thing when you had like uncomfortable scene where a girl put a foot in her mouth? Uh, just from a distance, that's what it looks like to me. It looks like some of it is... Some of it is creepy, and then some of it is stuff that you just kind of fished out and and put along with the creepy stuff. I mean, there's also scenes of him in a jacuzzi with Amanda mm -hmm. Bynes, and she's in a bikini, you know, and he's... Fully... Is this from the show, or is this like... It's from the documentary. It was like an interview thing that he came up... It was his idea to come up uh -huh. with, and how he's interviewing her. It's just, like, inappropriate. I, I've seen most of the Nickelodeon kids who have worked um, with him, they seemed to be not on his side. No. Uh, and there were a couple that are on his side. Like, I guess it just surfaced that the kid who was on a show, Dylan used to watch the show called Ned's Declassified. It was like a guide to surviving school and stuff. And those kids did a video first where they were laughing about it, which didn't come over very great. But then when they were like, we didn't have that experience on the set. He was a nice guy. So there are at least a, a this minority of people who are coming out and defending him. Not the other guys, just this one weird Dan Schneider guy. And he responded. He did, like, an entire interview about this. In both of your estimation, watching the docuseries so far, is he totally toast? Do you think there's enough on him that, like, he's not going to work in the industry anymore? I, I don't think he will. Uh, I think it's, it's hard to say. I, I don't. First of all, I don't know if he's still trying to work in the industry. Is he still, like... Yeah, he's, he's been trying to get, like, some pilots pushed got through. Got it. And yeah. no, nothing has been uh, bought yet. Well, I mean, his name's super toxic right yeah. now, so I don't, I don't know that uh, that's possible. But the dude, uh, Brian Peck, uh, mm -hmm. that, um, you know, that uh, well, he was convicted for uh, his experience with Drake Bell. Yeah. And uh, he ended up, I think he was supposed to register as a, as a sex offender, I think. Really? But uh, he got a job after his, whatever time he did, 16 months, I believe. He got a job on Sweet Life of Jack and Cody. Yeah, God almighty. Zach and Cody, just for the folks who are uh, of the generation. <laughs> what did I say, Jack? <laughs> Jack, Jack yeah. and Cody. 
Uh, All Day Yucker said, so we'll just discount the home movies he made on set of all the actresses' feet. I I haven't heard of this, so I'm just going to take your word at that. Oh, yeah, there's a lot of foot fetish things going on in the different Nickelodeon shows, too. I think there's... There's like a YouTube uh, video that's like ten minutes uh-huh. long of all the all the feet stuff. It's like really. But did he film some stuff himself on the set where he was like making? Know. Okay, the one thing I want to throw at you, which I'll I'll say was kind of what I was getting at here was they also said um, one of the child stars was like, oh, um, this guy Dan Schneider, uh, I guess he has like John Wayne Gacy art. Yeah. And like he had some was stuff. Was that him and or Brian Peck, was the Brian other Peck. guy? Was it? Yeah. Okay, but, okay, Brian Peck then has this John Wayne Gacy stuff. And I thought, this guy's probably terrible and sounds like he's done some really bad stuff and in Sealand's even say has been convicted of it. But is the John Wayne Gacy thing really that's just a weird thing. It's just like a creepy thing. It's not like evidence that that he's that's, done anything. That's why he, I he was f- a pen pal with him. Yeah. Well, yeah, he wrote. He yeah, was. Yeah, yeah, he wrote back yeah. and forth with so John Wayne. John Wayne Gacy sent him some art and was like, "Enjoy this, Brian Peck, or whatever." I, that's what what I was saying. Like the criticism of the the docu series uh, is that it, you know it just dragged on for a long time when it could have been just one long form documentary. I agree because they are, like you said, going over things like, okay, he's got a John Wayne Gacy painting. Mm-hmm. Does that re- does does that alone? Uh, uh, make him unfit to be around uh, I think, children? I, I think alone it doesn't at all, in my estimation. But maybe with all the other weird things, because yeah. admittedly there are definitely some weird-ass things that are going on here. Hence why the documentary series exists in the first place, right? So yeah. there you go. Uh, Fritz, you got to leave us, unfortunately. Yeah. Um, we're going to miss you today. Me go too. on, get. Uh, we, we look forward to the next time we get to be around you and hanging out with you. And by the way, Amazing job, as always, at Just Thank Okay. You. Just unbelievable performance. You are an absolute wizard in the musical world. I had so much fun. Also, uh, your uh, set as Ice Panda was great. and It was, um, it was something. And I it know that, a- <laughs> yeah, I said it, like, as soon as you guys got done, but, like, I, I've been replaying it in my mind since. I'm like, that was really good. It was a really oh, good Thank you, Fritz. <laughs> uh, this can all go to sea lane. All of the, all the comments. I, I was a man doing what I was told to do. But you, you guys, uh, both of you, but really, see, uh, Fritz, you did such a great job. You're so damn thank impressive, you. and we appreciate you every single year. Um, oh. It's awesome. Awesome to see that live. All right. See you later. See you next time, Fritz. See you, man. We're at a quick break. We'll be back with jury duty, including a homeowner who was arrested for trying to get squatters out of her own house. And this one is getting a lot of traction out there. We'll give you the details. Coming up next in the news, Junkie. Real Radio is on Instagram at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. This is former Notre Dame quarterback Brady Quinn. Here's what's trending from the iHeart Sports Network. Presented by Progressive Insurance. The last two spots in the NCAA tournament field will be filled tonight when Grambling meets Montana State and Colorado and Boise State battle in the first four. UCF's basketball season is over after falling to South Florida in the NIT last night. Night's campaign ends at 17-16. and And Zach Eflin will be the race starting pitcher on opening day after overcoming injuries to have a breakout campaign in 2023. I'm Scott Davidson. Progressive makes bundling easy and affordable. Get a multi-policy discount by combining your motorcycle, RV, boat, ATV, and more. All your protection in one place. Bundle and save at Progressive.com. That's Progressive.com. It's the Nissan Thrill of the Drive sales event at Sutherland Nissan Orlando. Score 0% financing on popular models like Rogue with no payments till 2025. And close out pricing on remaining 2023s. Rush to Sutherland Nissan Orlando. Click OrlandoNissan.com. Home of the lifetime warranty. See dealer for details. Are allergies holding you back? Take control with Aspire Allergy and Sinus, your one-stop solution for a breath of fresh air. Our expert team offers comprehensive allergy testing and cutting-edge treatments so you can enjoy life without the hassles of sneezing and sniffles. Say goodbye to allergy and sinus struggles and hello to a healthier, happier you. Go to AspireAllergy.com today to ditch those temporary fixes and schedule your appointment. That's AspireAllergy.com. The Kalo Services Job Fair will be on Saturday, March 23rd from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Visit us to learn about opportunities in the construction services industry. Register at kalosflorida.com slash jobs or text 352-243-7099.
about Sunnyside Electric. Oh, hi. I'm worried about my electrical panel. For static electricity problems involving your cat, press 1. No, my electric panel. For all other inquiries, press 2. Don't even have a cat. Fine. What's your problem, then? My electric panel. It's making sort of a humming noise. Impossible. If your panel is working normally, it should be silent. I know. That's why... Have you tried using those noise-cancelling headphones? What? Then you won't hear the humming. How does that help? It'll get you off my back. This would never happen with Frank Gay. But you didn't call Frank Gay. No, but I'm calling them now. When you have an electrical problem, you need help now. A helpful operator to guide you, qualified electricians to diagnose, and repair your electric panel and keep it safe and functional. That's the Frank Gay way. Wish I'd called Frank Gay in the first place. Sorry, can't hear you. I'm wearing my noise-canceling headphones. That's the Frank Gay way. FrankGayServices.com Are you a business owner, CEO, or responsible for marketing? If you are, I heard Media can help you reach your goals and find new customers. We reach more consumers in your target area than anyone else and we can give you access to those potential customers more cost-effectively across radio, digital, podcasting, and social. We'd love to show you how iHeartMedia can work for you. Get started today at iHeartAdvertising.com. That's iHeartAdvertising.com. Slam Dunk Savings going on now at Deland Nissan. Drive away for less with huge savings on over 100 Nissan models in stock. Score big with pre-owned vehicles, too, with new trade-ins arriving daily. It's not just a Nissan. It's a Deland. Embark on a journey through the most absurd moments of the human story with Ridiculous History, the podcast that explores the bizarre corners of human existence, like the evolution of the toilet, the story of Comic Sans, or the exploits of the notorious Aaron Burr. Aaron Burr is like, one day, my life is going to be part of a musical. However, though, he probably didn't necessarily at this point think that he was going to be the villain. Listen to Ridiculous History on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Sneezing, coughing, a stuffy nose, runny nose, post-nasal drip, interrupted sleeping. I just I was groggy at the end of the day. Allergies and sinus congestion were making Jana miserable. Then a friend recommended Navage. Navage provides immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus germs and other airborne irritants. Navage helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel your best right away. Navage gave me instant relief. I didn't have to wait 30 minutes. I didn't have to wait an hour, 90 minutes. I didn't have to wait. I didn't have to wait a minute. I just I ran the rinse and I felt immediately I felt better. Stop suffering from congestion and start breathing and feeling your best again with Navage. N-A-V-A-G-E. I've had people ask me how I find relief, and I tell them Navage immediately. This thing is amazing. Navage is available at Navage.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. Get ready for a major Major. iHeartRadio Music Awards announcement. Be here tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Eastern, 6 Pacific. Tax Talk with Straight Talk. You give and you give. This tax season, you get with Straight Talk Wireless. You get a reliable 5G network and unlimited data and a Samsung Galaxy A14 included when you buy an extended silver unlimited plan. So you can give your janky phone to your kid. Switch to Straight Talk. Find us at Walmart and straighttalk.com. For network management practices, visit straighttalk.com. Device offer ends 41424. Taxes and fees apply. I had so many dreams, but life quickly got in the way. Then, Rasmussen University saw my true potential and gave me the support and confidence I needed to become who I am today. Rasmussen University. Learn more at rasmussen.edu slash Florida. This earful of real radio is brought to you by JustCallMo.com. Injured on the go? Just call Mo.com. <laughs> Need to hear someone else's opinions before reconciling your own internal phobias? We got you, fam. Hey, Alexa, play Real Radio 104.1 on iHeartRadio. Forever at the crossroads between viral news and total chaos.
And just like I told that last emailer who panicked and emailed again and said, oh, my God, guys, when I was talking about the idiot on the show, I was talking about a dispatcher, not one of you. And so, uh, I was thank worried you for, the for a second there. What a relief. <laughs> I don't know who it was going to be. I'm okay with being the idiot. If you want to fire shots, I mean. That's fine. Look, I say a lot of things into this microphone. I would expect that I'm going to get some heat back. I would expect that I would get more heat back, as a matter of fact. But um, I don't know. Maybe you all have gone soft on me. Or maybe I'm just that right and that accurate. It's one of the two of those, clearly. So I want to reiterate, um, if you have, like, an interesting gig like that, if you're an interesting person, if you have some reason why you should be on the show, if you'll notice the show of the years... We don't generally interview celebrities. We don't interview like comedians or like everybody in the world interviews the same people doing the same circuit and ask the same questions all the time. I've always found it more interesting to interview the people in the viral stories that we're talking about or just people in general who can help us with a narrative or something else that's going on in the show. Like talking about the egg stuff and the farmer joins in bingo bongo. I want to hear about how that all works. I think that's kind of interesting and fun. And, um, you know, if you're into that, hit me up, tips of the news uh, All right, let's go over to this. In fact, we're a little bit behind. I've got the audio of the response from the Nickelodeon dude, who everybody's saying is a super creeper. And we'll hear from him a little bit further on in the show. But right now, let's do jury duty. Court is now in session. So put your phone down and pay attention. Before we call the bailiff over to whip your ass, you're now on jury duty. With the news junkie. Jury duty brought to you by the one, the only Mo DeWitt of the DeWitt Law Firm. Injured on the go, just call Mo. 866 call Mo, 866 call Mo, or go to justcallmo.com. After an accident, there's all sorts of attorneys out there, but make the smart decision and call your friend Mo. 866 call Mo, or go to justcallmo.com. Man, would this piss me off. It's uh, getting a lot of attention all over the place today. A New York City property owner recently ended up in handcuffs following a fiery standoff with squatters who she's been trying to boot from her family's home. There's footage of this making the rounds, and it's a woman named Adele Andalaro. She's 47 years old. She was nabbed after changing the locks On her own house, which is worth north of a million dollars in Flushing, Queens, she says she inherited from her parents when they died. Uh, It's enraging, she said. It's not fair that I, as a homeowner, have been going through this. The ordeal erupted when she started the process of trying to sell the home last month, but realized that squatters had moved in and brazenly replaced the entire front door and locks. She said she got fed up and went to her family's home on 160th Street with a local TV outlet in tow and called the locksmith to change the locks for her. A heated caught-on-camera spat with people occupying the house quickly unfolded. Police were called, and they escorted the people off the property. But then somebody claimed squatter's rights, and this woman gets in trouble. She may be facing charges for changing the locks on her own house. How do you, um, this, this is, I know this is going to turn out very Michael Scott-like. How do you claim squatter's, squatter's white rights? Like, you just uh, say it out loud. Yeah. You, you, I know you don't just declare it like bankruptcy. I declare squatter's, squatter's rights. rights. <laughs> it's like calling uh, shotgun. Uh-huh, yeah. In New York City, a person can claim squatter's rights after just 30 days of living at a property. Under the law, it's illegal for the homeowner to change the locks, turn off the utilities, or remove the belongings of the tenants from the property. So they have Here's to pay this. for the utilities, too. Uh, yes, they do. Yeah, and and it, this happens in like California and New York much more than it seems to happen in a lot of other places. But the scam is so obvious, all right? The scam is people pretend to be victimized as well. They say, no, I, I answered a, a story or I answered a, um, somebody put out a, a thing saying they were renting out this house. So we signed a lease. Here's our lease. And they show a fake-ass lease. And they said... Well, that does happen to people. There are scams. It does. It does. But I think it happens more that people are pretending to be in that situation. Josh and I know somebody who signed a lease and then had, uh, had the owner show up and be like, um, I don't know you. Why are you in my house? Damn. And see, that's a terrible scam. And and when it does happen, you hate it. But some people pretend that that's happening to them. And then they go, well, I've got a lease right here. And they show a fake lease that they put together. And then they fully intend for months, if not years to stretch this out so you can't have your own house and you're hamstrung by dumb laws. I think that we we have, and I've said this on the show before, there's ways to protect people like your friend who got taken advantage of, and that does suck, and I hate that. And I want to protect those people. But there's ways to protect them and also know when we clearly have a squatter who's trying to take advantage of the system who shouldn't be in your house. If somebody tried to squat on my house, whoo, boy. 
I mean, I'm like, there's certain things where I'm just like, I would be fine with just shooting people. I don't really mind it. Just, I know it sounds bad. Law enforcement I, has an issue with it. Uh, they have an issue with me too. So it's well. <laughs> you know, six of one, half a dozen in the other, or however the saying goes. Uh, they said this woman is still fighting now to get these squatters out of her house. What would you do if your family house was overrun by squatters and the cops arrested you for changing the locks? Let me know. Uh, what else do we have here in jury duty? Um, I want to save this. Uh, there is a lot uh, about this Caleb Harris story that is starting to gain attention. And you thought the one guy we've been talking about from Nashville was missing for a long time. Well, Caleb Harris has been missing for three weeks now. The search for missing Texas A&M and University or Texas A&M University and Corpus Christi student Caleb Harris is entering week three. The 21 disappeared back on March 4th. So we're rolling in the days here. They said he was last seen in his apartment complex on Ennis and Jocelyn. Here's the details as far as I know. His friend said he was hungry and he ordered delivery food from Uber Eats. And he said, I'll be right back. I'm going to walk the dog. And when he went out to walk the dog, he never came back. His roommate said they came back and there was just like food out in front of the front door. They don't know where the hell he went. They said, we're searching anything we could think of and relying on the authorities to give us information. Thank you for reaching out. We need to keep this going. He's out there somewhere. Those folks on the lookout, of course, for 21-year-old Caleb Harris. Where is he? People just disappearing out there. Okay. When we return, we've got yet another story where a child was at a restaurant and asked for a virgin, a virgin version of a drink. And ended up getting the real deal, which sets parents off sometimes. Plus, I've got that footage from Hollywood Reporter where they sat down with former Nickelodeon producer Dan Schneider to talk about these stories, these allegations against him. What is he saying in his defense? We'll hear that and digest that. That's coming up next on the News Junkie. It's like a text message. With your voice, the talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone, and speak. Travel with caution. The right lane is blocked on Turkey Lake Road southbound at Central Florida Parkway. There's bumper-to-bumper traffic eastbound on I-4 before US-27 and approaching Sand Lake Road. And there's an accident off to the right shoulder on I-4 eastbound between State Road 429 and World Drive to watch out for. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Jackson Hewitt. It matters who does your taxes. Why are people saying Hugh yeah to Jackson Hewitt? When you switch to Jackson Hewitt, they will beat what you paid last year on tax prep, even if you filed online. Proof of prior year payment required when filing. New clients only at participating locations through April 7th. Terms at jacksonhewitt.com. This earful of real radio is brought to you by justcallmo.com. Injured on the go? Justcallmo.com. For more information about contests on this station, go to realradio.fm slash rules. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal pneumonia. Continued approval may depend on a supportive study. Don't get Prevnar 20 if you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. Hey, let's get out of here. With Audible, we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save Earth from disaster. Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real-life media mogul succession drama. Or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com. 
Hey there, it's Russ Rollins. I'm talking to all the homeowners out there who are tired of staring at their cold swimming pools. It's time to stop wasting money on a pool that you can't use. With Solar Source, you can enjoy your pool year round like I do. Top five things Solar Source customers do after solar heating their pools? Well, spend time with your family. Go nighttime swimming. You got, uh, you got movie nights in the pool. You got water workouts and much more. Friends of mine, friends of Russ Rollins, can save big money when scheduling a free consultation today at solarsource.com slash monsters. Don't wait any longer. Start enjoying your pool again with Solar Source. I'm Mark Anajar. I'm Glenn Levine. I'm Ellie Anajar. Together, we're Anajar and Levine. If you've been hurt in a car crash, we'll fight to get you the maximum compensation you deserve. Call Anajar and Levine for your free consultation. 1-800-747-FREE. In office Orlando. Sunnyside Plumbing. Yes, I've got a leaking... To leave us a testimonial saying how happy you are with our service, press 1. But you haven't even... For all other inquiries, please hang up. Wait, what? Hang up and call Frank Gay. We're busy watching the game. You know what? I think I will. When you have a leak, you need solutions on your schedule. A helpful expert who can find the problem and fix it fast. That's the Frank Gay way. FrankGayServices.com it's spring. Time to gather your friends and family and fire up the grill with some Kingsford charcoal because everything tastes better cooked on the grill. Whether it's a casual get-together or a special occasion, Kingsford Original will give your food that authentic wood-fired barbecue flavor everyone craves. Mm, wow, this is so good. Because it's not spring until you've thrown some burgers on the grill with Kingsford Original Charcoal, America's grilling expert. Kingsford.com. Are you drowning in IRS tax debt? I owe the IRS $37,000. Get ready for a toll-free hotline. Take advantage of new IRS tax forgiveness programs that may protect you from IRS collection agencies. They have the power to garnish your wages, put liens on your property, and levy your bank account. Civic Tax Relief can help protect you from the IRS. Civic Tax Relief basically represented me against the IRS, and by the time everything was completed, I didn't owe the IRS anything. Find out about the Fresh Start program that is now available through Civic Tax Relief. Civic Tax Relief's special tax hotline can help you discover all the relief programs available for free. I would recommend anyone who has a tax problem to contact Civic Tax Relief. Just call 800-506-5803. 800-506-5803. Don't wait. Call now. 800-506-5803. 800-506-5803. To thank you for 40 unforgettable years, Dell Technologies is celebrating with anniversary savings on their most popular tech. For a limited time only, save on select next-gen PCs like the XPS 13 Plus, powered by Intel Core processors and more. Plus, curate your dream setup with great deals on select monitors, mice, and more must-have electronics and accessories. When you shop online at dell.com slash deals, you'll have access to leading-edge technology and free shipping on everything. Again, that's dell.com slash deals. Are you a victim of the timeshare trap and think there's no way out? I'm Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, the original timeshare cancellation expert. And I'm here to tell you that there is a way out. All you need to do is give my office a call. I will send you a timeshare exit information kit absolutely free, explaining how the timeshare industry works and your options for cancellation. Call Wesley now for your free info kit, 800-522-5700, 800-522-5700. A Fifth Third Better means we put in 166.7%. What does that mean? Well, at Fifth Third Bank, our name equals 166.7%. So that's how hard we work. That means free checking, no hidden fees, and helping to protect your identity. Explain it in baseball terms. It's a home run. Basketball terms. It's a slam dunk. Football. Touchdown. Highlight. Buzz ball. Cricket. Golden duck. Wow. Guess that really is a Fifth Third Better. That's what a Fifth Third Better means. This is banking a Fifth Third Better. Fifth Third Bank National Association member FDIC. Do you have AC needs? Turn to the experts at Carrier. Go to MillsAir.com. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because clients and character matter. Contact them at WhenYouNeedUs.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1, Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Real. Watching the world burn with some friends since 2007. This Want some 
honesty here. Not evil honesty, just like actual real honesty. Before we get into Dan Schneider's reaction to this whole docuseries against him, because he sat down for an interview, and this 12-year-old who got uh, drunk at Outback Steakhouse because they accidentally served him an actual cocktail instead no of rules. A, just, just right. <laughs> right, there you go, right? <laughs> Living up to it. And we'll hear from him and his family, the little kid who got a little tipsy at Outback Steakhouse momentarily. But I was telling Courtney yesterday... We're going for a walk, and I said, uh, it's kind of a weird thing I've been noticing happening lately. And I said, I'm seeing my friends, people who I grew up with, who I've hung out with for the majority of my life, and Facebook, posting photos Instagram, on social media. Twitter, y'all see this? And some of them now, when I see them post a photo on social media, I'm like, oh, person's starting to look older. Like, I could see like some aging in this person. And I don't mean like a little bit of aging, like to the point where I look at them and, and put them in. Maybe an old category or like older oh, category. Uh-oh. And, and as I'm going through, I'm like, damn, do I look like this? Because one of the weirdest phenomenons in your life is you think that like, if you're listening to me and you're, you're 18, 19, 20 years old right now, you think that down the road, you're going to look at yourself in the mirror um, and you're going to see through your eyes and you're going to be like, whoa, look at that old person across from me. It doesn't work like that because you're constantly aging and constantly seeing yourself in the mirror. You're never surprised by what you're seeing. So it becomes very difficult for you to tell how old you think you look at any point in time. Right. And so every time I bring this up around Courtney, I'm like, do you think like some of my friends that I'm looking at, I would say that they were like in their fifties or something and they aren't right. Like I'm, I'm barely into my forties here. And my friends are the same age as as me. But when I look at them, I'm like, that person looks like they're... And Courtney, when I was framing this up for her, wouldn't take the opportunity to be like, oh, no, 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 you don't look like you're older. (laughs) You know, she wouldn't say like, you know, you look younger, Sean. She didn't say any of these things. And she goes, the only way for us to figure out how old you actually look would be for you to get some, like, middle schoolers who don't give a damn and (laughs) don't know who I am. And just go, hey, how old do you think this guy is? And then you just get brutalized, you know? Where the, someone would be like, that would 65. Work. <laughs> and you're like, 65? Oh, man, he's at least 73. And I was like, I, I could put a photo of me on Amazon's Mechanical Turk and hire people for a penny to tell me how old they think I look <laughs> in the photograph. Like, I, how else am I going to get an accurate representation? Because I feel like if I ask you right now, You're going to, everybody listening, everybody in chat is going to be like, I think you look, and they're going to say something much older than I look. Like, Josh, do you feel like you look your age, or do you feel like you look younger than you actually are in number? No, I feel like I look my age. How old do you again remind me? 30. Yeah, you, you, yeah. Yeah. I think he looks a little older with as much hair as he's got right now. Oh, I was trying to do that to age me backwards. Uh Oh. (laughs) But you look, yeah, very, very close to it. But the beard does, a beard will make you look a little bit older than you are. When was the last time you didn't have the beard? Oh, God, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, two years ago, maybe? Two okay. and a half? Yeah, I remember the time he accidentally shaved it and he was really depressed we for a couple of weeks. We don't talk about that. <laughs> the dark times. Yeah. <laughs> but when I look at hey, myself, you learn from ThinkPad's mistakes. No. What the no. Big Doug Millionaire says I look 44 with my hat on, 48 with my hat off. Ooh. How? I'm not 44, <laughs> okay? I'm well, not nobody 44 asked to how old you were. I, I, I think I look. I can't even be honest with myself because I don't like, I'm not, I can't detach enough. Dennis says, Sean, you look 40. 40, I would take. Be excited yeah, about that. because it serves you better. Yeah. Of course, this is of the, course you take the, the younger one. Josh, this is the greatest <laughs> well of cognitive dissonance that one could ever find. Of like, course. There's, there's no other place where, tell me what I want to hear, and I'm going to be like, see this person. You know, Frank that's says. That's the guy that's right. <laughs> like, Dennis, Dennis now says, could pass for 39. I'm like, Dennis is the genius. I may have said terrible things about Dennis in the past, right? But now I'm like, this guy's on to it. He knows exactly what's going on. But on the other hand, C Lane, you're what? If somebody, 30... if somebody with the username Adolf Hitler was like, Sean looks 32, <laughs> he'd be like, praise Hitler. <laughs> when I look at C Lane, C Lane, you're what, 36? 37, thank you. 37. Sean's a genius. <laughs> 30, 37. I look at C Lane and I go, no matter what, 
I think people will down the line say that I look a little bit older, at least, at least a little bit older than C Lane. So then I got to go. Now I got to be hopeful that people think C Lane looks like 32 or 33. Right. And then people think like Josh looks like 27 or so. Take it. I need everybody else to fall down, way down the line, so that I can get a little bit of a window. Do you in want my us world. to I've, shave? I've fallen down enough for the show. Uh, you know what? I, Courtney said to me, uh, I said, after uh, after eight years, my electric razor has died. Uh, it died in the middle of me shaving my face, oh, which is no. a that, I had that happen. <laughs> and and it, by the way, it didn't like sputter and just kind of work for a little while. It just went Mah! and then stopped working and it never worked again. And I said, okay, I got to get another one. I had some backups that thank God I could use. Uh what? Uh, never mind. <laughs> Had some backups that I that I could use to to finish the job. Was one of them, region? Was one of them <laughs> given to you for free? No, 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 no. Uh, oh, one of them is the one you've used elsewhere. No, it's not. It's not even about the. I'm, it was I'm an trying. Emergency. I'm, I'm trying to to gauge your hesitation. <laughs> It was an emergency. I had to do whatever I could to finish up the job. Okay. <laughs> so uh, anyhow, uh, so I get the, the job done. And then Courtney goes, when is the last time you've totally shaved your face? And I say, mean with like a, like a, with a, like a Bic razor, like a red, whatever razor all the way down to the skin. And I said, probably like 20 years. I don't think I've had like just that solid. Like, I always do. I use a beard trimmer. And I go down to the stubble. So maybe if I did that, I'd get like a year of leeway. Like you shaving think. cream, you mean? Yeah, shaving cream and like straight razor at like down. I don't even know if I skin. own shaving cream. I, I don't think I do I either. Don't. I, I think I, like think, I, I think if I like if if I was in a pinch, I could probably get some from Ashley. I'm sure she has some somewhere, but I don't. Yeah, it, but it will make you look younger. I think you get a year off of that. If you shaved your whole face, line, you would get down to that 32 or 33 that we need you at. Yeah. To get me down to the 36, which I'm really working on here. <laughs> that's the, that's the, the number I'm really excited about. All right, let's go over to a man who who cares how old he is. He seems pretty creepy. Uh, <laughs> Dan Schneider oh. of, of Nickelodeon. I was say, we already introduced Josh. <laughs> how dare you. <laughs> and Dan Schneider of Nickelodeon is part of this docu-series where all the Nickelodeon kids are talking about how weird he is, how creepy he is. And they've got a lot of footage that looks quite strange. But he's fighting back. Hey, it's Boogie. I hey, play T-Bow on Nickelodeon's iCarly. Right. I got a chance to watch the Quiet On Set program, and I reached out to Dan to see if it was something that he'd be willing to discuss. I'm pleased to say that he said yes. Nice exclusive, Boogie. Dan, how are you? I'm okay. I'm okay. Um, I really appreciate you reaching out. And- By the way, that's a tough question, actually, for him. How are you? If he's like, I'm great. <laughs> Things have never been better. You're like... Really? This is what you view as good? <laughs> Things are bad. Kids have a lot of accusations right and now. giving me the opportunity to talk to you about uh, what we saw over the last two nights. I'm really glad you're here because I believe this is important. For sure. Uh, we've got a lot of things to talk about. All right, Chris, so, uh, um, if I could just have a woman I... reso- massage my shoulders before we continue <laughs> with this interview. <laughs> That's what he should have done. If This interviewer would have been the greatest if he, during it, had distractions in the background. So he'd be like... So you're saying that you don't have a foot fetish? Kicks off and his like, shoes. Yeah, <laughs> he starts rubbing his feet a little bit. A screen drops in behind him with like a quick cut of all the Nickelodeon girls' feet, and you really got to test him a little bit. I, I think. into my list of topics that I'd like to discuss. Is there anything you'd like to start off with? All right, what's Absolutely. he got to say? Watching over the past two nights was very difficult. Me facing my past behaviors, um, some of which. He, oh, he froze on us. He's he froze. Oh, it's oh, embarrassing and that I regret. And I definitely owe some people a pretty strong apology. Let's talk about the massages. Okay. Watching the content yesterday, it was disturbing. It was wrong. It was wrong that I ever mm-hmm. put anybody in that position. It was the wrong thing to do. I'd never do it today. I'm embarrassed that I did it then. Really? I apologize to anybody that I ever put in that situation. And even additionally, I apologize to the people who were walking around Video Village or wherever they happened because there were lots of people there who witnessed it who also may have felt uncomfortable. So he's biting some bullets here. He's not like running away from the idea that what he did was creepy. He's saying, like, I get it. That's weird. It doesn't take away anything that he did, obviously, but... 
he's at least biting a couple of bullets and suggesting, I get it. I know why there might be some outrage. I don't think there's any saving his career, though, at this point. It seems like it's pretty irrevocably busted and it wouldn't be working anymore. Uh, let's now go to the other thing I was talking about, and we'll take your thoughts on that. What do you think about that docu series? If you've been watching it so far, I want to hear some comments from some of these people whose letters got uh, outed. They only yeah. they, so they only got uh, a response, I believe, from Joanna Kearns, mm -hmm. who uh, was uh, t -t 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 uh, I think she was in Growing Pains, and Brian Peck uh, worked on on Growing Pains, and she said that her letter of support was based on misinformation, and knowing what I know now, I never would have written it. Well, mm -hmm. there's plenty of others, like Alan Thick, who was include who mentions in his letter of support that he is regularly included in lists of America's favorite TV dads. Now, he can't respond to this because he is dead. Oh, yeah, that's true. However, yeah, easy out. He said, <laughs> he said uh, knowing him as I did, I also know beyond, I was shocked and sad to learn he was trouble he was in. I also know beyond a shadow, uh, uh, beyond a doubt how remorseful he is and how dedicated and focused he will be on his rehabilitation. His integrity and self-respect have always been important. His turn of events has been mortifying to him in ways that will only make him a better, stronger citizen in the future. So it's like, I know what he did, but this is going to make him a better person. I know. I yeah, know okay. it. He's going to go to counseling. Let, let me let me lay out a little bit of uh, groundwork here on this, because I've taken a claim before. It was in the Danny Masterson case, and I stand by this to my core and to the grave. I think writing statements for somebody who's facing punishment, right, usually this is at the sentencing phase, mm -hmm. is a totally fine and acceptable thing to do. So, for instance, I'm not going to put either one of your names on this, but let's say there's some guy that I know named Mark. Mm -hmm. uh, and Mark, no, it's too close to Marky. Uh, let's <laughs> say there's some guy I know named uh, Jerome. And Jerome is accused of some horrific things, right? And as Jerome is about to get sentenced, he's already been convicted by a jury of his peers. Jerome says, you've known me for 20 years. Can you at least tell people about some other sides of me? And somebody wants to go, hey, I knew Jerome. Here's my experiences with Jerome, blah, 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 and write a letter in support of that person's character. I think that's totally fine and should not be demonized by society at large. But what c -Lane's talking about here, some of these people, not only did they write a letter in support of the person, they wrote a letter excusing the behavior of the person. So, for example, very uh, different. Actor Ron Melendez of General Hospital, uh, mm -hmm. who called Peck extremely generous with his time and energy, also said, uh, "I was shocked when anything more than uh, you know his his good work was first intimidated, intimated. Uh, more than shocked when I heard of his arrest. Brian is a good man. I believe a mistake was made, a large one on his part." But again, I also know the young man in question. He's talking about Drake Bell. Mm -hmm. I have met his family, seen his behavior, and understood that there were problems. I saw him pursue a friendship with Brian, maintain their close ties, saw his parents cede more and more of their parental duties to Brian. I saw the young man's employer's representatives, and finally even his parents looked to Brian to take care of any problem that should arise with him. Brian made a large mistake, but it was not his alone. Oh, yeah, see, that is totally yeah. different. Like, that's, that's victim blaming in your yeah. letter of support. That's totally different. I think it's fundamentally a defensible position to say that you should be able to, let's say it's a loved one, let's say it's a very, very close friend who's done something horrid, to say, here's another angle of this human being. But writing in defense of the person and then running down the accusers or excusing the behaviors is fundamentally different. And that is what it seems like happened in a lot of these letters, which is a uh, bad look. There's a lot of folks who wrote these who... We're, we're hoping they would never come out, I'm sure. Well, they were sealed until this year, last year? Yeah. That's, they say uh, they whoa, go to the Outback Steakhouse in Livonia. So yeah, yeah. some of them go to that Outback <laughs> Steakhouse, you know? They yeah, say. I promise you, we are going to that Outback Steakhouse. <laughs> and we're yes. we're going to hear about this 12-year-old that got drunk. But before we do Can that... Can we get a Bloomin' Onion? We're, we're, yes, <laughs> we have to. Uh, what is the sauce that you dunk a Bloomin' Onion in? What is that called? Uh, oh, probably so good. Blue onion sauce. Is no, it? They have like it's 
they call it like boomerang sauce or something. Oh, it's so well, good. Well, how do they say it in commercials with the accent? A boomerang sauce. <laughs> <laughs> uh, let's see here. Let's go to Sharkbait, who says, I'm single on a dispatch as we work two or three of these. Hey, junkies. I just want to give you an update on my crazy life. I just got paperwork today from the divorce office. And nice. hey. I'm officially single, so yeah. just wanted to share my awesome news, and I'm going to have some wine and celebrate. So just wanted to say, hey, hey. bye. Good, Good for you. you. Good for you. I like that. You go, girl. And I, I hope that you have some luck out there. I hope you enjoy your wines, your victory wines. Ceiling has victory white claws on the show sometimes. Mm-hmm. So does Josh. Those. I hope you enjoy them. Uh, let's go over to be part of one someday. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. Well, this is guitar slinger saying I predicted this in the very first segments. What'd you predict? I predicted this at the beginning of the show with the first dispatch I sent in first thing in the morning, right after you said this, mm-hmm. Sean, that you were going to annihilate Josh Fritz on the street. And I said, if I recall correctly, last time he was there, he wiped the floor with both of you guys. And sure enough, he did it again. Good job. I wouldn't say he necessarily wiped the floor with me. I I would. I would say he wiped the floor with me. (laughs) With you, yeah. yeah. (laughs) I would say I was uh, barely in the competition. (laughs) I got three points, I think, through and through. And Josh got the record uh, 17. um, That is concerning. I can't even believe it. I can't great. believe it either. And I also know that every time I lose in Fritz in the Street, when I, after the show, when I go out to get lunch, Courtney will be like, this is a very disappointing Fritz on the Street performance. It was embarrassing. <laughs> and I'll be like, well, what am I supposed to do? And I usually have an excuse for her. Uh, I said, well, I was trying to do this. I was distracted by this. I, wasn't, I didn't really have an excuse today. It just sucked. just wasn't good. Sorry. Mm-hmm. You still had like a little over a half hour to come up with one, and now you've admitted you don't have one. No, I just don't. I'm not going to have one. It was just a bad performance on my part. Uh, here's the last one for right now. Sweet loaf. Sweat loaf. Sweat loaf. Now, I don't know about whether or not us peoples are supposed to be drinking any cow's milk or nothing, but all I can say is I have noticed since we have uh, gotten away mm-hmm. from pushing milk down our kids' fat little gullets that today's kids... Kind of just a bunch of little pussies. <laughs> That's why. <laughs> That's all. They don't have enough wiggle, milk. Wiggle. Uh, you know, I didn't even think about that. Is milk on the decline with kids? Are kids like anti-milk these days? Uh, I don't know. Like, I think uh, I know that a lot of schools have uh, have been putting things in place to make the lunches and the the options healthier. I've said before. My school, when I was at high, in high school, it was the opposite of that. It was snack machines and soda machines galore. But when I went back. Uh, those machines were filled with like healthy things and yeah. the, the beverage machines had like propels and Gatorades in them and not even a diet Coke when thanks I was super Obama. hungover. So uh, <laughs> thanks a lot, Michelle Dr. Obama. Phillips. And so uh, I would say that if they have milk, they've probably moved to skim milk because when I was in middle school, they were serving whole milk. Yeah. And as delicious as it was. Probably had a few too many of them. You know, I looked it up, though. It says, according to the CDC, 72% of children and adolescents drink milk every day. That's crazy. It's still a super high percentage. Gross. 15% weekly, 6% rarely, and 5% never. I might have it once a week or something, tops. Okay, to the 12-year-old in the Outback Steakhouse. Didn't think I'd say that today, but that's where we're going when we come back. That plus you coming up next on the News Junkie. Real Radio is on threads at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the law offices of Anajar and Levine accident attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the law offices of Anajar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center. Shop the best quality jewelry and lowest price. Goldsmithjewelry.com. Two right lanes are blocked on I-4 eastbound at Osceola Polk Line Road, and the on-ramp is blocked from Osceola Polk Line Road to I-4 eastbound. The left lane is blocked on State Road 429 northbound, approaching Forest Lake Toll Plaza, and the right lane is blocked on Turkey Lake Road southbound at Central Florida Parkway. If you see traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. 
This report is sponsored by Blue Stream Fiber. HOA and condo board members, it pays to have fiber. Let Blue Stream Fiber show you how fiber internet provides revenue for communities while saving up to 50% off retail rates. Visit bluestreamfiber.com slash radio to find out more. Folks, let me tell you, it's important that you take care of your biggest investment, which if you're a homeowner is definitely your house. How are some ways that you can do this? Well, one is you can make sure you got no big surprises when it comes to your air conditioning, your HVAC unit. You're on top of it. Don't just let it sit out there and work until the day it doesn't. You want to make sure that you're getting preventative maintenance from Mills Air. This is something that can save you money and can also detect an upcoming breakdown. Know before it happens. Utilize the expertise that these amazing techs from Mills Air have. They are awesome. You're going to love them, and that's why they've been in business since 1992. We're talking over 32 years that Mills Air has been around, and they're a carrier factory authorized dealer. They can get you access to rebates up to $1,275. $1,275 for a brand new carrier unit. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier, and you can always turn to Mills Air. Find them online at millsair.com. This year full of Real Radio is sponsored by Wasi's Meat Market, the best place to buy a big green egg. Regulated activities performed by a licensed affiliate. I had no idea I could sell my life insurance policy. Norman and Nancy Duggan for Coventry Direct. We were about to let Norman's policy lapse because premiums had become expensive. Our kids are doing well on their own, so we just don't need it anymore. Then Nancy called Coventry. They were so helpful, answering all of our questions. If you're over 65 and have $100,000 or more of life insurance, you may qualify. After this past year, we're celebrating life. We've booked some long overdue travel, and we're able to pay for our grandkids' college. Coventry Direct has helped thousands live the life they want to live, pay for unplanned medical expenses, or supplement retirement income. When it comes to selling your life insurance, Coventry has you covered. Call 1-800-607-9400 or visit CoventryDirect.com to learn more about how you can get cash by selling your life insurance. Call 800-607-9400. Slam Dunk Savings going on now at Deland Nissan. Drive away for less with huge savings on over 100 Nissan models in stock. Score big with pre-owned vehicles too with new trade-ins arriving daily. It's not just a Nissan. Life Imaging FLA is an incredible service that saves lives. They've saved the life of four of my friends and a bunch of listeners. Life Imaging FLA, listen, getting that early detection, early scan can save your life. And here's my goal this month. I want to have at least 50 friends and family go for that free heart scan. There's a few minimum requirements, but this is definitely worth it. Help me spread the word and have a conversation with your loved ones and get them in to get that free heart scan. Book your scan now for Life Imaging FLA. Early detection saves lives. Call Life Imaging FLA. FLA, you pick up your cell phone, you dial pound 250, say the words free heart scan, few minimum requirements, and you can have that scan done. It's free heart scan from Life Imaging FLA. Pick up your cell phone, dial pound 250, say the words free heart scan, and you'll be connected in seconds and ask about cancer screening. Get a scan if you can. Early detection of cancer can definitely save your life. It's Life Imaging FLA. You'll have the option to receive a one-time auto-dial text message from iHeartMedia. Get a scan if you can. Life Imaging FLA. Are you drowning in IRS tax debt? I owe the IRS $37,000. Get ready for a toll-free hotline. Take advantage of new IRS tax forgiveness programs that may protect you from IRS collection agencies. They have the power to garnish your wages, put liens on your property, and levy your bank account. Civic Tax Relief can help protect you from the IRS. Civic Tax Relief basically represented me against the IRS, and by the time everything was completed, I didn't owe the IRS anything. Find out about the Fresh Start program that is now available through Civic Tax Relief. Civic Tax Relief's special tax hotline can help you discover all the relief programs available for free. I would recommend anyone who has a tax problem to contact Civic Tax Relief. Just call 800-506-5803. 800-506-5803. Don't wait. Call now. 800-506-5803. 800-506-5803. 
Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by Abvi. Embark on a journey through the most absurd moments of the human story with Ridiculous History, the podcast that explores the bizarre corners of human existence, like the evolution of the toilet, the story of Comic Sans, or the exploits of the notorious Aaron Burr. Aaron Burr is like, one day, my life is going to be part of a musical. However, though, he probably didn't necessarily at this point think that he was going to be the villain. Listen to Ridiculous History on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 original stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like 24-7 comedy. Men don't settle then. We surrender. Women, we never express the emotions we're actually feeling, right? I'm fine means I'm about to stab you in the neck. Clips from today's top comedians and the greatest of all time. Donut hole. If you want a donut, have a donut. Why are you eating the hole? When you need a laugh, just open the free iHeartRadio app and search comedy. You can actually change the station. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. If you've been injured in a car accident, call Pound Law from your cell phone. Morgan & Morgan. Because the newspapers don't come with cliff notes or potentially offensive accents. Steakhouse. In just a moment, wait till you hear this report. See, Len, I have no idea how Josh is not just like completely angry at the world why not not like just if i was him i would have done unspeakable things okay. to the world at large to the, just, to the whole world to the, to the whole world <laughs> just i, I don't know i don't know how he contains himself dear Folks, world please be prepared for my unspeakable <laughs> things which i will do very soon love uh, sean if the if i heart was able to have a meter in the studio as to like when i should not say things and when i should say things right now it would be pegging red because the things that i'm thinking that would happen if i were in josh's position i don't know how he's just like chilling just relax on this he's josh so, yeah, yeah but, he's probably but, high right now no <laughs> Sorry, man. I'm a little high right now. I get a bottle of water. Don't put that on. fall asleep on your ass. For those of you who don't know, which is most of you, Josh has had, and some some of you markets are going to like, in New York, I know they're going to be like, oh my God, wow. Poor Josh has been without an air conditioner. And I know in Rochester, that's no sweat, literally. But hey. is right right now or ever in other places in the country, it's it sucks. Josh has been without an air conditioning at his house for over two months. Are you kidding yeah, me? Yeah, brother. Over two months now. It's good. It's nice. And this is not because Josh doesn't have a nice air conditioning. Josh has a very new, very nice air conditioning. But there was some kind of weird problem. And let me know where I get this wrong. Okay. It was something like. Everybody with this same model of AC is having this weirdo part that breaks, right? Yeah, Isn't it it's the one one specific part that was so cheaply made it broke on every single unit basically at the same time. And now they can't get that that part from the manufacturer and the manufacturer is like freaking out like like ducking everybody's phone calls they won't and stuff. respond to me or my ac guy and it's under warranty it's not it's not yeah. like uh i can just shell out money for it like i i'm not trying to pay two grand to fix my ac here no no this they they should be paying this this is part of the deal that you have with them and he's not been able to utilize this big dog millionaire says it builds character get out of here <laughs> i do feel yeah. stronger for it <laughs> right he doesn't want to build character okay and so you think about this, you go, that would be so infuriating. I would want to burn this place to the ground that put you in this scenario, this predicament. There's no end in sight. We've got spring upon us in summer in the, you know, looking down the, the, uh, the field here. It's getting bad. 
and is starting to get bad. And do you know what this part looks like? Like, what is this part that you need that has kept you without AC for two months? What's it shaped like? You I, know? It's some sort of coil of some sort. If I, It's been so long since it was explained to me. I hardly remember. Okay, but if, if it had broken anywhere else in the AC, it would have been fixed, like, immediately. But it's this one specific part that makes it such a pain in the ass. God damn it. That's so frustrating. If there's somebody out there who makes coils... I don't really know what that is. I'm going to be honest with you. I don't know. Coil guy. If there's a custom, custom coil person who goes, okay, I know what Josh is dealing with. I can like custom make that part. Reach out. Can you 3D print a coil? Maybe. Maybe. I don't know. Could it be any worse than the coil that was already in there that broke on a new air conditioner? I'd think not. Maybe we could get somebody to help out here. Somebody's got to be able to do this. That sucks. Or maybe these people will hear this being talked about and get off their ass and fix my AC. Yeah, get to work, for God's sake. I know uh, for oh. a fact that if we have if we had gone two months with a broken AC, mm-hmm. Ashley would no longer be at our house. <laughs> I whether, whether or not I'd be invited to to evacuate with her would depend on how much she blames me <laughs> for, for the problem. <laughs> but True. Ashley would not be there. She would probably either have already gotten a hotel room or moved in temporarily with her parents. I've That's been a- lucky because it's been cold for like the past month up until a week ago, and now yeah. it's just miserable. Yes, it's not. It's going to get worse from here, too. Yeah, buddy, can't wait. Uh, let's see. Tyler says, sounds like a class action lawsuit. Uh, I'm not sure if you approached Moses about this. Maybe I'll get some mailbox monies. Yeah, that would be real nice. Uh, well, if you can help, uh, tips at the news junkie.com. And we'll go over to this. Here's the 12-year-old who accidentally got some booze at Outback Steakhouse. Let's see what they say over on Fox 2. They say they go to the Outback Steakhouse in Livonia multiple times a month. 12-year-old Mikhail always gets a virgin strawberry daiquiri. But this time, it definitely was no virgin. You know what? It (laughs) didn't taste like high when I had it the other times. And it just didn't taste normal. A taste unfamiliar to this 12-year-old. Rum, a few big gulps, then a funny feeling he says my head started hurting when i was leaving and my heart started beating as i was drinking it. all right i'm gonna make a call on this and this is so stupid if this happens this is not the first second or third story you've had like this in the last couple of months i wouldn't be surprised if they start cracking down on alcohol free drinks for kids like this like when you say i want like which um, is so stupid it's so dumb it's so stupid if they do that but if he says i want a virgin strawberry daiquiri if they start going we can't risk it we, we can only sell you lemonade and soda. We, we can't possibly risk that we accidentally serve you an actual strawberry daiquiri. I wouldn't be blown away if they started doing that. But this kid sipped away on this and got some rums. And uh, I don't know if he enjoyed it or not. But. Were you a little bit scared? Yeah. Grandma Yolanda Collins took a sip to see. We don't drink. So we, we couldn't tell whether it was alcohol in there or not. But uh, after that, he started letting us know that his heart was kind of racing. Flagging down the server who relayed their concern to the bartender who Uh-oh. confirmed they made a big mistake, adding alcohol to the slushy drink. And Grandma has receipts, literally. It's supposed to be a virgin, Dr but it says a daiquiri. The restaurant oh, no. cut the meal and apologized, but the booze was hitting this sixth grader, so they took him to the hospital right <laughs> oh, away. Oh, come on. He didn't even go to the hospital for a couple of sips of a yeah, strawberry he's daiquiri. Fine. This, you're setting this up for the lawsuit side of it if you're the parents. He's a 156 pound kid, and he had a couple of sips of a strawberry daiquiri at an Outback Steakhouse, which probably doesn't have the strongest strawberry daiquiri in town. No, no. I don't if, think they were pouring overproof rum into the strawberry daiquiri. If he got one at Lizzie's, take him to the hospital. But this is, you know, different. This is easy peasy. If he got it's one at Lizzie's, I want to know where that time machine is. <laughs> uh, oh, that's true. I meant to, to say go. Casey's. I meant to say Casey's. <laughs> Either way. Uh, so mom brought him to the hospital. The diagnosis was accidental exposure to alcohol and accidental ingestion. There wasn't much that could be done. A Tylenol and some rest. Then his first hangover the next day, <laughs> 12 years old. 
school. I didn't want him to have to have an alcoholic experience this way. Grandma calling for better training. They're listening, according to this statement from Outback Corporate. Let's see what they said. Quote, we take this situation very seriously. Who and spelled corporate the there? Uh, oh, idiots that hurts. Corporate. You got to hope that's on the TV station and not the alcohol it's serving Outback. Definitely Steakhouse. the TV station. Corporate, C O R P E R A T E, our corporate office. Yeehaw. Uh, what do you think? Send us a dispatch and we'll put that amongst the final dispatches. Stories that didn't make the cut. And today I learned to wrap everything up for a Wednesday. It's all coming up next on the News Junkie. Real radio is Real Music Weekends. Weekend on Real Radio 104.1. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. Hey there, Central Florida. I'm Fox 35. Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your forecast on this Wednesday. And despite the chilly start temperature wise, we're expecting a really big warm up to continue over the course of this afternoon with the help of some sunshine. We'll expect a mostly sunny sky, highs in the mid 70s, high of 75 degrees in Orlando. Tomorrow, we'll see some increasing clouds that will lead to a couple of spotty shower chances late Thursday with a better chance of showers expected to arrive for our Friday. From the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Jessica Dobson. This report is sponsored by J. David Tax Law. If you owe the IRS and can't pay, now is the time to call J. David Tax Law. After a two-year hiatus, the IRS has resumed their aggressive collections letters. Don't wait. Call J. David Tax Law or visit jdavidtaxlaw.com. One of my favorite things about that mortgage guy, Don, from thatmortgageguydon.com is the fact that he is part of the Real Radio family. That's right. Every Saturday morning, you can hear the Home Loans Radio Show. Hear Don and his crew answer your questions live on the air, pull back the curtain on the mortgage business, explain the real mortgage process to you because he wants you to know how it works. Get the process started today with an expert and a friend that you could trust by going to thatmortgageguydon.com. the Nissan Thrill of the Tribe sales event at Sutherland Nissan Orlando. Score 0% financing on popular models like Rogue with no payments till 2025 and close out pricing on remaining 2023s. Rush to Sutherland Nissan Orlando. Click OrlandoNissan.com. Home of the lifetime warranty. See dealer for details. Victim of a slip and fall? It takes one phone call to take back control of your life. Anajar and Levine will fight to get you the compensation you deserve. Call me, Mark Anajar, for a free consultation. 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. In office Orlando. In St. Augustine, Pontevedra, it might feel like there's not enough time to take everything in. Because once you're done exploring 42 miles of pristine coast, marveling at historical architecture, and enjoying world-class food, it'll be time to check out and head home. But that's okay. You can always stay just one more day. Visit floridashistoriccoast.com to learn more. It's about time. $5,000. That's the average amount of money people in the U.S. are now spending on gas in a year. Five grand. That's crazy. If you drive, you have to download Upside, the free app that gives you cash back every time you get gas. That's right. You can earn real cash back with Upside just by buying the gas you're already buying. You can literally start earning cash back today. I use Upside every time I fill up, and I've already made around two, $300. You're putting gas in your car anyway. Why not get get real cash back. If you like free money, download Upside. I'm saving the cash I earn from using Upside to help pay for a vacation later this year. Download the free Upside app now to earn cash back every time you buy gas. Use promo code COOL to get an extra 25 cents per gallon on your first tank. You can cash out anytime right to your bank, PayPal, or a gift card for Amazon and other brands. Just download the free Upside app and use promo code COOL for a 25 cents per gallon bonus on your first tank. That's code COOL for a 25 cents per gallon bonus bonus. Hey, let's get out of here. With Audible, we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save Earth from disaster. Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real-life media mogul succession drama. Or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com. 
Frank Gay has something cool for you. Keep your AC running smoothly with a tune-up for only $89 for a limited time. Friendly, speedy, and expert service. That's the Frank Gay way. Visit frankgayservices.com or call for details. Get to Twin Peaks for Wing Wednesday. Every Wednesday, we have six boneless wings, fries, and a soda for just $10. Prefer a signature draft beer? It's only $2 more. That's every Wednesday at Twin Peaks. It's spring. Time to gather your friends and family and fire up the grill with some Kingsford charcoal because everything tastes better cooked on the grill. Whether it's a casual get-together or a special occasion, Kingsford Original will give your food that authentic, wood-fired barbecue flavor everyone craves. Mm, wow, this is so good. Because it's not spring until you've thrown some burgers on the grill with Kingsford Original Charcoal, America's grilling expert. Kingsford.com. Sneezing, coughing, a stuffy nose, runny nose, post-nasal drip, interrupted sleeping. I just I was groggy at the end of the day. Allergies and sinus congestion were making Jana miserable. Then, a friend recommended Navage. Navage provides immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus germs and other airborne irritants. Navage helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel your best right away. Navage gave me instant relief. I didn't have to wait 30 minutes. I didn't have to wait an hour, 90 minutes. I didn't have to wait. I didn't have to wait a minute. I just, I ran the rinse and I felt immediately, I felt better. Stop suffering from congestion and start breathing and feeling your best again with Navage. N-A-V-A-G-E. I've had people ask me how I find relief, and I tell them Navaj immediately. This thing is amazing. Navaj is available at Navaj.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. HCA Florida Osceola East Emergency in St. Cloud at 4920 East Erlo Bronson Highway is now open 24-7. Visit HCAFloridaHealthcare.com to learn more. This emergency department is part of HCA Florida Osceola Hospital. This is not an urgent care center. Its services are billed at hospital rates. <laughs> in the gaps between the New York Times and World Star. Today we're going to wrap everything up for a Wednesday. Thank you, Josh, for hanging out with us today. Hey. We do appreciate you. You got Couldn't it. I couldn't do it without you, and I hope you get your AC fixed at some point in time. Thank you. I'll let you know if I hear anything back. But uh, we've got uh, probably Josh uh, with us again tomorrow, and then Sabrina should be back on Friday, but she's dealing with some stuff. Um, so, you know, it's uh, something where we'll we'll figure it out as we go. And, um, and let's get to the things as we wrap things up that we generally do. But before we get to the final dispatches, I did want to check this out because – this would be an improvement on all sports broadcasting, in my estimation. Now, you guys could disagree. Nudity. Feel free to. That would be. I've seen topless darts, and it was just undeniably better than regular <laughs> darts. But this one is different, okay? Let me bring this up for the folks on the stream here, and I'll describe it for everybody else. Oh, son of a bitch. Are you kidding me? Give me just one moment here because it decided to open in a, in a new link when I click play. But – this is the future of sports broadcasting as I see it. And this brings things to a new level of excitement. This was from a soccer game uh, in Argentina, right? And here's what happened after a goal was scored. Uh, here we go. They said this was on accident. <laughs> he said he accidentally got auto tuned, and I said, "If that was an accident, which I don't know if it was, I'm all for that being a regular thing." There. I like it. I like that. I think it was. It added to the to the moment. All right, maybe we could do one last dispatch. This one is. Let's see. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Oregon transplant talking about ghettos. You know you're in the ghetto because you feel like you're in the ghetto. Mm -hmm. It really doesn't matter where you are locationally. 
It's about the people. It's about the vibes. And that is that. She's saying rich ghettos exist, though. That's her point. That's what she put in the subject. She says rich ghettos exist, too. And I'm like, ah. Trying to think. Mm. Like, I'm going to need an example of that, like a rich ghetto. An excess of money is spent on stuff that's, like, not cool looking or not, you know, like eyesores. Maybe. I just can't picture it myself right now. But, well, we'll see. We'll figure this out in, in due time. All right, let's do the stories that didn't make the cut. And we start off with a headline that I absolutely enjoy. This is from Uproxx, and it says, The Wonka Experience. That's the one where people paid money to have the Willy Wonka experience. Whoa, whoa, but whoa. It was the Willy Chocolate Experience. The Willy there Chocolate Experience. There was no experience. Wonka. There's definitely no Wonka to be found. <laughs> they said, the Wonka Experience director said it's, he's, quote, sick to his tummy over its failure. That was his direct quote about all of this. And Buddy, he says, why, <laughs> sick why to his tummy. are you using the word tummy? <laughs> he says, my life is ruined. I've lost my friends. I've lost the love of my life. I was made out to be the face of all evil. And genuinely, that's not the case, his, he his, said. Uh, his partner broke up with him because of um, his stupid Willie experience? <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> It was that bad. It hey, kind of deserves it. I mean, if you're going to get dumped over a bad Willie experience. Hey. Might as well be that one. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Here we go, folks. Let's do Today I Learned. The following information may make you feel smarter, but will not actually increase your IQ. So don't get cocky. Now it's time for what we call Today I Learned. It is Today I Learned for a Wednesday, March 20th, 2024. Here goes nothing, friends. Today I learned this television show right here. Simpsons. That's right. The Simpsons writer Brent Forrester went to Lollapalooza as research for the famed episode Homer Palooza. He had a horrible experience, which inspired several jokes for the episode. Cameras being seized and thrown in the trash, a freak show. And at one point, a stranger said, how's it going, narc? Because he looked like he was older than others in attendance, which uh, I fear will happen to me if I went to Lollapalooza, which I was thinking about. This upcoming Lollapalooza sounds like a good time. Sounds like a but you can you can stream that one on YouTube. Have fun there, Nark. How <laughs> dare you? Today, I learned Disney produced an educational film in 1946 called "The Story of Menstruation," and that was the first production ever to use the word vagina <laughs> from Disney. So this is sure pre-vagina monologues? Uh, no, no, for Disney. Was that, was that a Disney vagina monologues? Not for mm-hmm. Disney, but I'm saying you said pr- first production ever. First production, yeah, yeah. I thought they meant Disney only, but maybe not. Uh, today I learned the script for this movie. Uh, Rocky. Rocky. That's right. The original script to Rocky V. In it, Rocky is so beaten up from his fight with Tommy that he places his head on Adrian's lap while on the way to the hospital, and he dies. They said after he wrote the scene, Sylvester Stallone was brought to tears by his own words, which seems a little <laughs> masturbatory. <about laughs> you, right? Crying at your own writing. Today, learned there is such a thing as tsunami survival pods. They are capable of saving lives during tsunamis. I would hope, what with the name and all. These buoyant capsules can accommodate from two people to 16 people. And when you hear a tsunami is on the way, you just pop into your pod. And then if the water comes, who cares? You just float around in the thing and float around. Until they do you... not look very comfortable. They're not great. They're like, it's like a little ball kind of thing. And it's got, it has a, it has a window on it, I think. Yeah. Um, if it doesn't, that would suck even worse. You're going to be swimming in the puke inside. Oh, <laughs> Yeah, you're moving around like you're in a hamster ball. That's well, you're alive. <clears throat> All right. And here we go. Time to get out of here for a lovely Wednesday. Today I learned this man. Weezer. Weezer. That's right. Weezer. Rivers Cuomo, the lead singer of Weezer, was attending Harvard. Now, you see, after their first album went uh, platinum and all those things, he said, I'm going to go back to school. And he went to Harvard. They said he was unrecognizable at the time to most people. He walked with a cane, a thick beard, long hair, and thick glasses. That was the second time he came back to Harvard because he went two different times. Uh, This was in 2006 when he re-enrolled and graduated. Nobody even recognized him in Weezer shirts. Thank you so much for hanging out with us. We do appreciate it. We're back tomorrow, same time, same place. Miss any of the show? Get the podcast at thenewsjunkie.com. We'll see you later, everybody.